everyone this is dr ij coming to you direct from the carnival elation as you know we're on vacation but we didn't want to leave you without a new episode of two dudes and a chick this week for this episode we reached into our archives and pulled out an interview with at g king comic we recorded the interview back in january but never had a chance to release it now with his upcoming comedy special set to air on july 5th at 11 p.m on comedy central and with the three of us stuck somewhere in the Caribbean Sea, we thought we'd release this never-before-heard interview with him. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this archive episode of Two Dudes and a Chick interview with at He King Comic. And don't worry, we'll be back next week with a full review of our vacation. Also, be on the lookout for a bonus episode dropping later this week. And don't forget to subscribe, rate, review, and tell a friend. For Tiff priest d and myself have a great week enjoy this episode peace our breaks ain't never as long as they supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> i'd be ready to go on vacation and then it'd be like hey you ready for wednesday I'd be like what happened to, to my vacation i don't stop uh-uh. maybe we should just pass the rap this this time pass the rap yes hmm Mm. You sound like nah, ain't no, we, ain't no we need this just so, just so G can see we what he's doing. Hold on, I need this man to see that. Okay. Uh, I'm feeling this one. <laughs> Chilling with G, uh, comedian of the century. Uh, it's your boy Priest D, and we chilling in the V. Ah, uh, podcasting. Niggas getting mad, never lasting. Woo! We the best. Nigga, you never settle for less. Ah, here we come. Nigga, you ain't to a runner. I'm coming. Nigga, we own it. Never fumbling. Nigga, straight on it. Touchdown, nigga. Six <laughs> points, nigga, the ball. Why is it so long? Nigga, then you never ever fall. Ooh, we. It's not that long. <laughs> Hey, I got my, I got my own flow. Hey, he thought that, he was gonna go somewhere. Hey, that's that new flow. They right. Hey, hey they gonna be trying to steal it. Hey, he added in that. What do you mean? He said, "Hey, he had, you had you added something there today, bro. You, yeah, it never gets old, man. Man, but um, go ahead and start off, man. I end it." Okay, you know, this is Dr. IJ. Welcome to Two Dudes and the Chick. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tiff. It's your boy, Priest D. Long leg daddy. Finger on the... I ain't gonna say it. Um, Today is a very (laughs) special guest. I think y'all gonna have to do the intro. Yeah, your voice is... Yeah, my voice is killed. Oh, my God. I'm gonna write it out, though. I'm gonna write it out. We got got a very (laughs) special guest here today. This dude been with me three weeks apart. Man, our, mo- apart. our moms tried to have us at the same time together. That was planned. Yeah. She said, Vicky, when you having sex? Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 they they really planned that? That's what they told us. That's what they told us. <laughs> we gonna get in there tonight. Yeah, that's what they told us. <laughs> really? They tried to plan us around the same time. Wait, but what were, you, what were your guys' due dates? I don't know. You're going too uh, deep. You know, yeah, I say you're going too deep. You're just going to stay on the surface. Okay. Um, this dude is three weeks apart from me. Our mothers tried to have us at the same time. It was a, it was meant for us to be as tight as we is today. We lived together our whole lives. Yeah. Um, I remember. <laughs> it ain't too much I don't know about this dude. Introducing one of the funniest. Hold on, brother. Let me oh, pick bad, you up for bad. a second. Ahead, yeah, Introducing man. one of the funniest <laughs> men mm-hmm. I know. My cousin, my best man in my wedding, mm. G King. What's good? What's up, God y'all? daddy to our first boy. God, God daddy, daddy man. to my God first daddy. Mm. What's up, dog? Hey, G good, King man. in the building. Chilling, what up, doing G? What I, do. I didn't know he was just the best man in your wedding. Yeah, he was. Yeah. 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 Come on, this G, this is my dog. Yeah. 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 No, I get it. No, it's, it's, yeah. deep, it's deeper yeah. than rap. Man, it's deeper than rap. It's man. deeper than rap. <laughs> it's deeper than the lyrics he was spitting earlier. Man, <laughs> hey. I would hope so. <laughs> hey, y'all, got, y'all got excuse me, man. My voice, man. I've been sick all week. I so. wish you would have said that before we it's, started it's, that rap. It's coming off a little. Weird today, but we still gonna rock it out. Yeah. 
So what's up, G? What you been up to today? Man, man? nothing. Just chilling, man. Uh, I ain't really do much. Just been chilling. Uh, when I come out here, I just, you know. Well, I had a little stream of shows, though. I was kind of busy, like. You are, whatever you out here is Thursday. I, I show Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, and Monday. Yeah, your time of coming down here just to kick it is a wrap. It's man. a wrap. Yeah, 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 I, got, yeah. I got a show tomorrow, Tommy oh, T. Wow. So thank you for giving us a little bit of your time. Yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah man. <laughs> if I ain't at a comedy show with him, he ain't kicking. Right. We don't see yeah, him. Yeah, right, man. I mean, busy. Unless there's one out here and need to stay at our couch or something, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll see him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been a minute. I ain't been out here in a while. Well, that's cool. Well, we're going to start the show off. We started off um, when we have our guests, like a little icebreaker, so our listeners can maybe get just a little bit more of getting to know you. So I'm going to say a series of phrases, and you finish the sentence with one word, first word that comes into your head. All right? So I enjoy. Family. You sure? Yeah, I enjoy being with family. <laughs> he, he looked at us like that's that right answer. I of, family, I enjoy. Is that, is that a safe answer to say? Sure, I'm gonna say something else. <laughs> okay, I want a uh, new car. Mm. I love eating, and I hate. I hate when people say, "I'm about to tell you something," and they be like, "Never mind." I hate that. <laughs> like that's one thing I hate, bro. Hey, I do that all the time. I, I hate that. Like if you, I do that all the time. I'll be like, tell me. No. <laughs> nah, man. It's too late. Ooh, man, it's too late. Too late. You gotta say something. You wanna get on my nerves, bro? Say that. I'll or I'll be like, I got something to tell you. I'll be like, what? I'll tell you later on today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hating that, man. <laughs> that's the worst. All right, wait. I'm about to get the phone, but before I go, and then I'll finish the oh, story. Man. Just you set wanna, it up. You I'll tell you me. later. You wanna kill me softly, bro? Oh, man, tell me. Like, I <laughs> got to know. And then I get mad if it's something simple. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you got me. That's because they built it up. That All reminded right. me of when I was a kid and my mama used to be like, when we get home, I'm going to take care you. of you. Oh. And then you had to just sit with that just as you did all the errands. Be like, man, man when is we getting home? Like, can you just whip bed. me now? <laughs> I used to try to go to bed. Like, check yeah. that. <laughs> man, I remember. Ooh, I remember witnessing Brennan get. Ooh. Whoop us. <laughs> Man, his mama used to whip him with her. Ooh. Everything. Anything within reach. Man, I remember that time she got mad because we were spitting in the driveway or something like that? Y'all was spitting? Uh, we were spitting loogies Lopez. in the driveway. In Lopez. <laughs> we were just spitting out. She was like, I'm about no. to whip you. I'm whooping all y'all. But we she didn't say who can spit she didn't, give me, she didn't give me a whooping, but I heard Brandon, though. He took one for the team. <laughs> and you know, and you know how this nigga used to get whoopings? Oh. Yeah, my mom, my mom didn't do it. With a spatula on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> See man, you going left. Hey, look, look. Hey, let me sustain though. Hey, look. They used to sting. Hey, let me tell y'all a story real quick. Cause you're not done with your question. It's huh? totally fine. Like, look, I'm at his house, right? My auntie like, stop running around the house. We like, all right. We get back up, running around. She's like, I'm about to beat y'all butt. Him and Dame in the in there like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm about to get a whooping. I'm about to get a whooping. I'm like, oh, snap. Like, hey, what's up? Like, how she be doing it? He like, blood is finna go down, man. They all crying and stuff. Hey, Eli. No, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Lying, he like, oh, it's about to go down, man. I'm scared as hell. I'm like, oh, damn, they had me nervous. She came out there with a spatula. I'm like, what's she finna do with that? And then she was like, Damon, put out your hands. I was like, what the? He like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and G, G rubbing his palm. Like, no, mama, no. <laughs> no mama. She's like, like, put out your hands. She, goes, ah, ah. Like, she came to me. She came to me. You know, I, I used to get them slave beatings. Right. Them, them, like he said, them Dizzy Washington ones, dog. So my mom hit me with the spatula. His mom hit me with the spatula. I was like, ah. Ah, hey, ah. <laughs> hey, she got hella mad. She got hella mad. Never been that cool in his life. Hey, hey, not. Hey, not. Hey, G, say she didn't get hella mad. Start whooping me like you gonna get this. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hey, answer, hey, answer. Oh man. All right, she like go in the room. <laughs> Why parents get mad though when the whoopings like don't hurt? Because it's because hey, that's man. the most infuriating thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. They be getting really mad, like we offended yes. if you don't respond correctly gotta, to getting whooped. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta act like you dying for me, like no, nah. you gotta. Hey, when the last when the last time you had a like a whooping? No, I'm saying whoop one of your kids or you had a. Uh, so Bella like, almost got it tonight, but like Janine don't get whoopings. Yeah, he do. Uh, nah. 
really ah, but he, he but Jem- Jemaine looked like he would talk you out of it like dad hold on let's talk about this <laughs> like he seemed like he, they just he really, seemed like he like he you know what I'm saying like he can really negotiate the, like hold they on they don't really be doing stuff yeah, to get that whooping. warrants a whooping yeah. you know what I'm saying for the most part and I ain't yeah, seen a pain. I ain't seen a, a kid just get a good. I just, I just whoop. I, I whoop. I whoop Chum whooping. and Javana. For real? Yeah. Uh, he talking time. about your mama's whoopings. This guy. Nah, I'm just talking about like a good. Like I always see threats. Like nah, they don't go there. They right, get them around right. here. It's sporadically. Yeah. Like, I be want to see. I want to see a good. You whooping. want? You like want to see? I want to see a good <laughs> whooping. <laughs> like a good. Like a. Like a. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Like a good one. The I, I don't after know. effects. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I just be around kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been around kids. A or good like, whooping is when the whole house get quiet. Yeah. Like Nobody want to talk to you afterwards. They be like, talk about like act like nothing just happened. Right. <laughs> he upstairs getting that work. But even, <laughs> even your spouse come to you like, yeah. so you good? <laughs> <laughs> even the dog be nervous. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> like you get this too. <laughs> mm, I, yeah, it's been a minute since I seen it. So what's up, man? Let's talk about um, this comedy thing, man. What made you? What made you want to get into this? Man, I don't know, bro. Uh, you know, when we was uh, when I was, uh, it hit me, man. I don't know if you remember. Um, well, the spark came when uh, when Marcus had them Def, them Def County Jam tapes. Mm-hmm. I remember I was on restriction because mom took the car. You know what I'm saying? Grays is bad, and I was <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting I was sitting in your room. And your auntie, you know, he had all them tapes, and I was just watching all of them. And I was just like, I mean, I was like 17. That's when it kind of hit me, like, man, I think I could do this. But, you know, you don't, you don't really know how to go about being a comedian. You just right. see people on stage. You just be like, oh, okay. Like, def, you, just, you see all them people on Def Comedy Jam, but you don't know what, it what open mics or what that. You know what I'm saying? You just think they just appeared. Right, right. So that's when it hit me. And then um, I remember going to heck. Me and Brandon was going to – I was carrying – I was I – was, I was bringing him when we was going to heck a pe- we was going to heck a comedy show. Remember, yeah. we was going to Pepper Bellies. Like we seen Kevin Hart, and we just I, I just always was going. Let's go to like let's go to the comedy club, and then we just go. And then one time I went to uh, go see Mike Epps. He was in Sacramento at the auditorium, and I remember watching him. And then that's when it like hit me. I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be doing stand up. Like you know what I'm saying? It just like I like I, I like I seen my future. Like like I seen how everybody was laughing at him, and just I was like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And I was like, man, I'm about to quit college i was like i'm done i was like i ain't going to you know what i'm saying i was like i figured out what i'm gonna do I'm go, and my mom talked me into like going to school because she was like at that point i had heck of loans and it'd be dumb to right it'd be dumb to quit school and you know and not and not give it not get your diploma so once i finished that out and then i start hitting stand up full speed how long you been doing this full time uh Man, like on and off, bro. I never really had a job since AT and T. Now I think about like a real job, job. Like it's always been like little side hustles. Like I right. work a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? But AT and T was the last job I had. Like everything else. Was kind of <laughs> I got him. I got him on that job too. Yeah, that's the last they gave oh, me. Oh yeah, I forgot you was. Bro, I think I got. Uh, when I got laid off, it was like right, right when Obama, right when, right when Obama got in office so they had like for some reason unemployment was so you've been unemployed for 10 years bro i'm talking about i almost got unemployment checks for like three years bro like it was just whatever that time it <laughs> right, was like right he was like he kept getting extensions and i was like oh so with them three years i was just working on stand up like because i didn't have to worry about working because i was getting them unemployment checks but then when them unemployment checks stopped coming that's when they got real i was like, <laughs> I was like i'm really alive <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was faking the funk. Like, yeah, I'm a comedian. You know, but niggas and I was getting them unemployment checks. Right. <laughs> then when the unemployment checks came, that's when it got real. But that's when you had to become a real man, bro, I've been, I've been, I was telling people, I've been broke for so long, bro. Like, you know how people be nervous? Like, I only got this. I mean, I'll be like, I ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? I just know how to flip it. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, normally people get nervous. Like, man, I ain't. But I'll be like, man, I'm about to, you know, bother me. <laughs> I, it's, I was having that conversation the other day, man, yeah. with somebody. Where they they just got a better job making like twenty thousand extra a year, mm-hmm. and they still broke. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, remember when you was really broke? And yeah. now you get twenty extra. Th- right, th- you didn't stress off money. Now you like, that's I that, need more money. That's that like, rich broke. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But really, it just be like, cause like when you a comedian, like I can't just spend. Like I gotta like be strategic, like on my right. spending. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I don't know when my next. Like you know, you got a check coming. <laughs> 
you can be like, oh, I got it. I'm getting paid next two weeks. But when you, you know what I'm saying? When them shows be in between, you got to be like, man, I'm about to chill today. I'm about to, <laughs> about to chill. It's going to be a Netflix day. Like, mm, so. Hey, what, what made you get the nerves, like, going to first open mic? Man, I don't know. I was like, uh. Do you remember? That's like your, that's yeah, like I remember. I had, right there. My first time, I remember I called. I was calling around comedy clubs. I was like, man, I'm going to do this. And I remember I called. I called up to Sacramento, the punchline, and they had an open mic, and then you just sign up. And I was like, I was like, man, I was kind of like, I hope you don't call me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I hope you don't call me. And then he just randomly, I guess I was new. He was like, G King, you going up? I'm like, oh, I didn't know what I was talking about, bro. I was like, <laughs> but when I did it, I had wrote a few jokes. Like I only had like three minutes, three three to four minutes, and when I um on the stage, so that probably seemed like yeah. I think I I don't a even long know, time. I don't even know what I um. I remember you used to do that soldier boy joke. Yeah, that was <laughs> I, by by, the, by that time I've been doing it like maybe a year or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, I just it'd be crazy. I'd be thinking about like twelve years, like twelve right, years right. of doing comedy. Like I'm I can be consistently funny. Like you know what I mean? Like it's not like. Like I'm not gonna be taking no L's. Well, hopefully. I mean, not. I mean, let me not put that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I kind of know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I kind of know I could consistently be funny on a day to. You know what I'm saying? Weekend to weekend basis. Like, hey, it's it's funny you say that. So, uh, guy I used to work for. He likes in his 60s, and he's trying to start doing comedy now. Yeah. That oh, uh, is he funny? This a he. he he a white dude, so he got like that dry white guy. Uh, humor, you know what I mean? And because he's sixty plus, like it just come off kinda kinda funny. But he did uh he held his own like mm-hmm. comedy show. Yeah. Um and had a couple folks and like they was just they was just bombing like one yeah. after the other, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there like, Man, I could do this. Yeah, I could do. This. You was thinking yeah. you could do it? I was thinking I could do it. So he like he got to a a, a thing, a, a section in the show. He was like, "All right, like anybody want to come up here and you know, what I'm saying, put on a few minutes." So I raised my hand. I'm sorry, and I got up, I got up on stage and that light hit me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man. man, I couldn't get off that stage fast enough. I was like, oh, okay, I got a. That's hold. what happens when you man. look at people yeah. doing stuff. Like I, I, I had watched Grey's Anatomy. And everything. It did mm-hmm. not work. I watched Grey's Anatomy, and I think that I can like go and perform some procedures or something. Yeah. Hey, I be watching uh, Doctor Miami. I think I could perform a, uh, a, tummy, a tummy tuck and a breast lift. <laughs> <laughs> just, by, just by watching. Just by Dr. watching Miami. people yeah. make it look so <laughs> easy. Oh. But yeah, I feel yeah. like com- comedy is like one of the hardest jobs ever. Hell yeah. Like you go into like, a blank audience, like make me laugh, yeah. a different personality. So we're going there, you're you're expecting performing for laugh. people who are expecting, to, expecting laugh. to make so they're going in there with higher expectations. What they normally will laugh at and be funny, they want like more than that. No, they just want continuous laugh. That's like, nonstop. Well, you can want that, and somebody else would be like, let me just see what's going on. So then you got I mean, the person. What I'm saying is, they like, going in there. Laugh. You think they're going in there already expecting you not to be funny, or do you think see, that people go in there expect you to be funny? They expect you to be funny, but it's different. Like, the crowds be different. Mm-hmm. Like, like, the white, like, normally the white audiences, they're more, a little more patient. Like they can go for a long story. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was walking you down can the lead street. them too. Like, you can lead them. And, they, and they'll they, be there right there with you. They'll be into a long story, and then when you get to the punchline, oh, like, oh. then like black audiences, they you got to get to it fast. <laughs> they're Your opening number. They, they, they like, be, yeah, as soon as, soon as you hit the stage, the music man, stops. As soon as you go. get on that stage, they like you know what I mean. They, they, they it like, but black black audiences be judging you too. Like I be feeling like we be ready for you yeah, to bomb. We be, be ready to be yeah. like he ain't funny. That's like, what I'm saying. Because yeah. if you think about it, the average black person think they funny. You know what I'm saying? So you think, you know what I'm saying, the average person, your average, your uncle, like, man, I'm funny, you know what I'm yeah. saying, I could do that. So they, it be, they got the bar, the bar be set higher. Like, right. You got to be, do some other stuff. But, what do you mm. think you would be doing if you weren't doing comedy? Uh, I thought about that the other day. I'd probably be, if I wasn't doing comedy, I'd probably be working, the job, some kids or something, like just, you know what I mean? So? Like, yeah, definitely. Hmm. You think like, you would do, what you go, what you go to school for? What you got a degree in? Uh, business. 
Hey, I'll be thinking that. I'll be, I probably would like have a job, like probably be working where you working at, bro. <laughs> <laughs> probably, you know what I'm saying? Following along, like, bro. They, hey, AT and T hiring. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be over there with you, bro. <laughs> 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 Try to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay, you know, like I think, I don't know, like, like comedy is like a gift and a curse. Why is that? Like, because it's like. Um, it's the gift. I mean, it's the gift, like doing, you know, doing the stand up and right, doing all right. that. But then the curse is like, it's just, it, it's nonstop. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you almost be feeling like any, like any let up. Like you gotta stay grinding. Like anything can hold you back. Like because I've seen comedians, you know what I'm saying? Like life happens. So you know, people fall off. Like you know, it's just like every gig you gotta take because it could be yeah. the gig. Nah, not even that. It's just you gotta be like. I don't know. You got to be serious about. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you can't you be. be vigilant, you can't have one foot in, one foot out. Like oh, so. How you how you feel about comedians that got jobs full time? And I and mean, it's I, I, like I don't have. I, I think that is good to have a job, but I just. I mean, I just. When Do I you think that's it, one foot in, one foot out? Nah. Nah, they got to. Not if you. Not if you got kids. Yeah. You got to have a job, <laughs> but like me, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. My 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 st- my stance is different, like, cause I don't got to yeah. take care of no family. You know what I'm saying? So I can kind of, I can take eat care top, yourself. I can eat top ramen for a month and be, <laughs> like, so be straight. <laughs> be like, but is if you, I had if I had kids, you would, then I, I would have I would have or I would be either a kids or I'll be hustling probably hard. Not to say that I'm not hustling harder, right. but yeah. it would be more like it. Man. The grind would be different. Yeah. So you about to be one of these uh, 50 year old comedians with with a brand new family? Ooh. Man, I don't know, bro. I'll be thinking like some infants running around here. Like, <laughs> hey, bro, the, Dang, gonna hey, be that old parent. Wife like bro, thirty-two, the, bro. The older I get, I'll be like, man, like, do I like? I don't know, like, cause I'm thirty, about to be thirty-eight, and I'll be like, dang, do I want to like? It's young blood. Nah, it's young, but I'll be like, do I want to like? Right. Be like, hold on, I gotta get a babysitter. I can't. I don't know. It just be like, cause I gotta. I'm so used to being on the go. Like it had to be, it had to be all on her. Like hey, you gotta, <laughs> I'm on the road. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, I get to the kids when I. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't know. I, just, I mean, we know that it it can potentially work. Yeah. Because oh, you. But know I don't want to be a. I feel like I'll be an old daddy now though. Yeah. You would. You would. Yeah, you get. I'll to be the, old. Yeah, I'll be old. You like, definitely I'll would. I'll be an old yeah. daddy. Like we just like gotta Donald get you. Donald Rollins got a joke because he, he got he got kids older, right? Mm-hmm. He said he said, man, I'm an old daddy, man. All my friends got you know what I'm saying. He said uh, he said to be called with his friends. He said, man, you coming to my son's birthday party? He said, man, if my son could get off work, <laughs> 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 bro, I was I was like, that's gonna be me. <laughs> hey, what's up? You and nine coming to? <laughs> <laughs> if nine can get off work, <laughs> I'll be a heck of old, bro. You just gotta get you yeah. a young tenderoni. I mean, young, mm, yeah, that that's work too, though. Yeah. What a youngster. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. All you know. gotta go with somebody who already got a family. And you just mm, like, nah. Do you want kids? <laughs> I don't want to. You ain't trying to. I don't want to. You don't want to do nobody's stepdaddy? Nah, man. So you, yeah, so, it's gotta be some good kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, don't, was, I, I don't have the time to be like, man, you know what right I'm saying? Now, right now. Yeah. Calling up the school. You ain't trying to be nobody role model? Man, I'll man, be a big, a be a big brother you. program. Or, <laughs> <laughs> you got to drop and go. Huh? <laughs> drop him off at 5 o'clock. Like, it's man, big brother. I'm, a big, I'm, a big, I'm in the big brother program. Now, I don't know, bro. I'll be thinking like, I'll be like, dang. Because I was talking to Derek. And we was like, because D, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, you got to, his, his kids is in college. Yeah, and I was like, dang, like you could have a whole nother batch, like you know right. what I'm saying, literally. But it's like, do you want to like? Do you want to hit the reset? Do yeah. you want to hit the? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to like? I mean, at this point in my career, I can't. I I can't like if, right. a, girl, if a girl is like, I'll be like, dang, like, like it'll be it'll set me back right now. What like, you guys say? Huh? If I had, I'm talking about if I had a kid right said, now, like I'm not, I'm not ready. I mean, just where I'm at, like I gotta, would I gotta, you, I'm on go mode right now. Would I can't. You, would be. you would you be like? So what you want to do? <laughs> nah, I'll be. Hey, yeah, I'll be the three, hey, nah. the three, hey, the nah. three bills for it. Hey, nah. hey, look. Well, hey, everybody look. always know how much it costs. <laughs> hey, 
Nah. <laughs> would you would you try to support her? Like, hey, hey I'm there for hey, any I, decision. I, I, I would do the mutual hey, thing. Like, man, hey, joke whatever, would whatever you? decision you make, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, baby, it's up to you. You pro choice? Yeah, I'm pro choice. Like, hey, if you want to do it, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to hey, do it, she would make a joke about it, man. She'd be hot. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like, in a relationship, what kind of guy is G King? Are you like funny all the time, or are you serious? Are you? I'm kind of like um. It's funny. I got like different. I'm serious. Like I'm not. It's weird. Like it, it, it's weird because I'm not the dude. That I mean, around y'all, but I'm not the dude that you'll be like, oh, he does comedy. Like I kind of like reserve. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like people don't think. Right, when right. People be like, oh, he do stand up. They be like, he do stand up. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not that dude to be cracking jokes and on all the time. I don't like being around comedians that's like that. I'll be like, because mm-hmm. like, you be around comedians that want to be funny all day. I'll be like, bro, let's talk about basketball you know what i'm saying like you don't be one i don't be one to be funny all the time i mean if you naturally but some dudes just naturally funny mm-hmm. like if you naturally funny and you're not trying to be funny and that's cool but if you're trying to be funny it's like it get on your nerves after a while it's like mm. man i was i was telling them um we oh, had a go ahead. i didn't even ask the tip, tip. it's fine Good. no i'm sorry too but now i am i'm kind of like silly like you know what i'm saying like it's hard for a girl to get mad at me Oh, like, because you can because I can kind of like it. if she was mad I'm gonna get her to laugh she's gonna be like get off me you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had one girl talk to me she was like I can't be mad at you like if she tried to be mad it's right. like I can't you make me laugh you know? <laughs> when you make a girl laugh it's kind of like you know you, you can kind of have your way you know what I mean they'd be like you crazy that's that's the secret yeah laughter can get you you know what I'm saying yeah hey when, when you ugly you gotta figure out other ways <laughs> you got <laughs> When you ugly, when you, you, you gotta dress nice. Yeah, when, you, when you ugly, you gotta and have, have a you, really strong, you good have, personality. You gotta have good personality. That's and why. You, I'm and saying. dress nice. There you go. Nah, you, I mean, you yeah. think it matters with the dressing? Man, ugly dudes dress nice. Like, but I think at, in this, in in our time, this is like the best time to like. Be ugly. People be not, ugly. That's no, I'm talking that's about like be ugly. No, I'm talking about he's going there too. No, no. Like, yeah, I'm, like talking about, to be I'm talking ugly. about with the dressing because it's not a name brand. Like you could wear something. You, you could know wear anything. Right. You think right. about it when we're we, in our Y'all early. Can shop in, on Fashion Nova in, right now in, and it'd be cool. Yeah, in our mm-hmm. early twenties, well, we, we are. It had to be brand. Hey, in our yeah. in, in our early twenties, it had to be name brand. Like you, you like when hey, everybody you know, know you had. Is it? I got iceberg on. I got you know what I'm saying. Let me got platinum football. Let me ask you something. Is it? Did nothing change, or you just got older? Because you ain't been around no eighteen and sixteen year olds like that. Nah, but in our general, like the kids our age, I mean the young cats, they be dressing in like you know what I'm saying. They go to H and M. Hey, I was about to say Forever Twenty One. Young kids be. just. It ain't really name brand. No, nah, whatever. Just, it's nice. the look. Yeah, yeah, it's the look. Yeah, but yeah. they be wearing some cute <laughs> rags. Man, man bro, yeah, I was in. Hey, bro, I was in Target a couple days ago. I was like Target. Hey, nigga. <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm about to Target. Target. Hey, hey, Target. Hey, hey, Target bro. hey, I just bought some salmon jeans man, from there. Bro. I'm like, oh. Because Target. <laughs> they Target. stretchy. I they fit me I'm nice. Like, y'all slip it on. Hey, Target, like, you slipping Target on. Target got a brand called, is it Good Boy? Yeah, that's that's the bro, name. I brought, of the pants I, brought, I, got. I brought like a, a black t shirt, but it was like it was it was like a stretchy, yeah, like it was like, like a nigga. I, like, I just said the pants were stretchy, dog. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, hey, bro, I got, got these, could, I, I got these from Walmart, like 10 bucks. They look like it. Uh, you guys yeah. sound hey, like old dudes, dudes. Hey, I got dudes. Look at, like I, some daddy. I got to only buy my drawers from Walmart and Target. I got this jean jacket from Walmart, and I was like, yeah, he called me about that. He just beat, nigga. I was like, but I worry if you look on my um. I had wore it on. Nobody uh, on would stage. know. Nobody would know. Mm-hmm. Clean. Yeah, clean. You can't get with the Target shopping. No, Target don't make my size. Oh, they don't. Only in draws. <laughs> so I go get a. I go get a pack of six quick. From they Target. don't have um your size at Target. Nah, nah. Target like Fashion Nova. They got that three X, but it's really like a, a X. Fashion Nova. You been on Fashion Nova? Men? I ain't been on Fashion Nova. I ain't know they have Fashion Nova men. Mm-hmm. They got Fashion Nova men, man. For real? Yeah, mm-hmm. I be shopping there. For real? I ain't no, none of the clothes know, fit. I got it. <laughs> he tried it. I'll be in there, man. <laughs> I don't really Matter of fact, I got some shirts that might be good for you. Hey, you ever, hey, you ever feel like, because I, sometimes I got to like, like wonder if I, because I don't be shopping a lot, and I'll be right. wondering if I'm out of out the loop. Like, I'll be like, hey, do, do this look cool? Like, you ever <laughs> be like, because I don't, you know what nah, I'm saying? Like, I'll I'll be, be like, I'll be, I'll be thinking that too sometimes. Yeah, I'll like, be like, I'll be looking at OGs like, man, this nigga look ill. Yeah. Then I'll be like, who do I look like that to somebody? Like, what yeah. group do I look like that I mean, dude? You look young, to? though. I mean, you, you still. <clears> y'all going to be in the matching sort set well, soon? It, it's nah, interesting because I still sag. 
I still sad. So I be brand. wondering, like, how many folks look at me and just be I like, still what? sad. Oh, I do. Like, I do a little, little light sad. I got not sad. Like, not down. You know what I'm saying? No, I. Yeah. I can't wear my pants. No, I'm not sagging way. enough to where I gotta change the way you walk. Nah, I be seeing nah, some nah, of the kids nah. walking. Yeah, they have nah. to do the waddle because their pants are I'm so. Like, I'm like, I'm like top of the butt. Nah, I'm I ain't. Like, but but sometimes yeah. I do have the full like the full like two kicks. Like yeah, 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 I be wondering if Baggy gonna come back. It is. Yeah. It's right around the corner. Everything comes back. It's right back. around the corner. Baggy Cause, cause, in eighty in because tight in nineties tight fitted jeans been in for a while. He's been in they for have. a little. Cool, they have. Cool. It's been a long little. They've been in so long that now I'm starting to kind of look at tight fitting jeans. You like, about to get okay. some skinny jeans? I, you know, I'm 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 open to the possibility. <laughs> <laughs> have some tight leg jeans. <laughs> you got to get some. Now, when the when the chain when the when the skinny jean movement changed, were you guys like own it? Are we all kind of resisting it a little bit before you gave in? Did you start with the straight leg first? I feel oh, like I'm God. still resisting it. I just grew into my baggy jeans. Now they skinny. Oh. Nah, I was, I was resisting it from the beginning. Remember, you used to talk about my pops all the time. My pops used to have yeah. my pops dress like how I dress now, but. He was doing that in the baggy air. So me, <laughs> me and G used to be, I'm like, man, why does he come over my, he hey, come over my partners and listen, looking like this? Man, Uncle Danny pants used to be so tight. You could see a cigar package in his back. Man. <laughs> <laughs> his wallet, cigar, his wallet. His keys, yeah. lighter. Man, like, everything, everything in his pocket. Hey, but now it's dope. He had like a, a fitted Pepsi shirt on with some blue jeans. And something some, you would wear right now. Something I wear right now. Yeah, but back then I'm like, come on, cuz I, I, I don't know. Like, do like, I mean, I guess as you get older, if you want to stay current, you, if you right. want to stay current, you got to do what's in. Dude, my brother is so resistant to the process. I yeah. just want to get him. Hey, he skinny. is. I mean, he hey. does not. Yeah. No, but, but by yeah. the time he come back around, he gonna be in style. He be cool, but yeah, he is not. He yeah, yeah, he, he like he like baggy jeans. Yes, Man. he will not get with the skinny movement yeah. at all. He, 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 he like, like a baggy jean, like hey, he that he that R. Kelly jersey uh, type of dude. He that you R. Know Kelly gigolo era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I always, I don't know, I always try to have some type of sense of fashion. Like you, know, you try and stay current. Yeah, with the trends. I just stay like you know what I'm saying. Stay fly as much as I can. I mean, I, I ain't trying to go broke, but you know what I mean. Well, yeah, yeah because you're on stage too. though. Like you can't. Yeah, so I can got, you wear the hey, same do, thing? Do you feel like? Do you feel oh, like? When I first came to L. A. I was I didn't. Man, had, had the same up. three shirts in rotation. Man, I remember the manager was like, "Hey, bro, you gotta." <laughs> <laughs> so do you think you had different hey, shirts to wear? He was like, "Yeah, just you know." I was like, "Man, I ain't, bro. I'm here, bro. I'm trying to get on stage, but he just always was tripping off me wearing hats and." Hey, bro, you gotta be professional. I'm like, man, on stage? Yeah, he didn't like hats. Oh, you stay but, in a hat? Yeah. Hey, do you feel like? On stage, you gotta look a certain look, or you just feel whatever you feel is fly, or is there like a comedy look? I, mean, I just wear whatever, nah, cause nah, I mean, I just wear what I whatever I would wear. Like, whatever you wear that right. day, you is cool enough to wear on stage. Yeah, like I don't ever just. I mean, it all depends, a... like yeah. I mean, a black shirt, and you know what I'm saying. I mean, the older I begin, I like wearing a lot of black. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I been wearing Brandon. black, bro. I had a black pants. New <laughs> Year's Eve, I, I was on stage. I had a black. I said a black pants. I had them tights. Remember them one pants? You was like, I'm kind of clean with the zippers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had them. I called them man tights. <laughs> 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 I loved them, but man, I had, I had that on. I had a black shirt, black, black. jacket, black hat, and some red shoes. Dog. Hey. <laughs> Hey, I, I oh, went in I'll my pants. Black, I went in my pants. I went in counting. I had six pairs of black jeans in my closet. Oh, all I, different. Though. I only got like different. one pair of black jeans. Uh, I'm I'm blacked out. Like all I've I been like wearing, wearing black. black. I'm just waiting for y'all to get with the Merce. What's the, the Merce? Uh, the man purse. The man purse. Oh, oh nah. man. Hey, what's nah? Uh, they be I, having them. I'll be like, I we got to draw the line somewhere. Y'all yeah. gonna get one? Uh, Jonas had one. Man purse is just a little too much. Baby, I got one. He had a man purse. Yeah, he had a purse. He had a bottle winner. <laughs> <laughs> he did pull out the baby oatmeal for breakfast the next day. <laughs> Y'all gotta get with it. That's what happens. Cause you guys lose everything. Hey, I, I, I learned. I was telling them. Um, 
couple of weeks ago when I went out to LA and stayed with y'all for them last four or five. That years. wore him out, by the way. Hey, he was done. He came hey, home. He hey, was we, done. Hey, nonstop. I was like, man, this what you know what I mean? Because <laughs> you guys work at night. Man, I be like, out like every man. man. I be up like one week on. Hey. On average, well, how many days a week do you go out and hit the hey, stage? I be pacing myself like I go out. Like I mean, every night you can. I mean, it's just easy to be out to like two, three in the morning, like. Like you just hanging out, like you would do a show, like say on Monday we'll be at the Hollywood Improv. I've been at the Hollywood Improv hanging out, and it's just because LA is a big hangout. Like I don't mm-hmm. know when people work, just everybody just be out, just hanging right. out, talking, and then next you know it, the show over. They they they, they, they still they done, they done closed down the comedy club, and we just outside talking in front. Like it's been like me, uh, just hacking comedians, like big name comedians. We just be chopping it up. Like I remember yes. I was out with Corey Holcomb. To like three in the morning, we just talking, just just talking about, you know what I'm saying? Just wow. LA, just it'd be crazy like that. Like you just, and I, I get home at like three, and then sometimes they be like, "You want to get something to eat?" And then, you know what I'm saying? And we might not go home till like five. <laughs> just doing that every night, like it's just every night, every night in LA is something. Right, right. Hey, do you do day you, parties on a weekday? <laughs> hey, what what is considered successful for you in comedy? Man, like when will you feel what's like, your end goal? Yeah, what's your end goal? Man, get that money. I Is it that. about the money? Man, it's not it ain't about the money, but I, I want to be like, I still be having like, I want to be like. Are you trying to make it to the big screen? Do you want? Yeah, I mean that's like, cool, but I, I'll be I'll be happy with just touring every weekend, uh, like just you know what I'm saying, like a consistent. <laughs> where I'm selling out clubs and just getting mm-hmm. that bag, like that'll be cool. Because I'm just thinking about like. I think about when you first told me about you going on stage and doing mm-hmm. them sign up ones and happy you got three minutes and then they yeah. call you back for five minutes. And now you open yeah. up somebody to like me being with you this whole weekend, a, a whole week. And I seen every major comedian that know you and you know yeah. them and you on stage, y'all walking in the comedy store like. Like it's y'all house. Yeah, like, you don't be, you don't look at it like, cause I, it's just what we do. He was right, like, "Oh right. snap, y'all walking in the back of the comedy store." Nah, I'm like, I'm he like, was like, I was, I was like, I didn't even think about it like that. He was like, "Man, you walked in, everybody knew you. You shook hands." I'm, 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 nah, like, I'm just like, man, I, I was impressed yeah, with that. I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never. I always look when I go when I go see you perform. I'm, I'm an audience member. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or I go with him that day. I know who he performing with, and I know he know. Him. Like, right. say for example, we got. D Ray, for example, D Ray and Sack, G and Sack, they doing the show together. So I know I'm gonna meet D Ray. I know he already needed him. I know we gonna be backstage with him. I know we gonna kick it with him. I know we gonna party. Like that's expected because he's on that show. But now he's just randomly popping up at places and they respecting him like he D Ray. That's what I'm like. Yeah. When what's what's the level of success? Like what's the bar? Man, when like, you getting that like, bad. Do you see yourself growing, or do yeah. or do you just so caught up in a moment that you was just like, I'm grinding so hard? I, don't. I mean, you just don't. I mean, when you like, I don't be really thinking about it. I just like, go, just go. Like you can't be like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because you can get caught up in shoulda, woulda, coulda. Like man, I used to. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta just go, right, and then right. you can't really think, look back. You just gotta be like, all right, this what you know what I'm saying? But it get hard because it's always a possibility. You be like, dang, like, am I going? You know what I'm saying? Is am I gonna like am I gonna make it? Or if you ain't, you just gotta like just do it for the love and whatever happens. You know what I'm saying? Do like, you do you still have them thoughts? Like am I am I wasting all my the time? time? I'll be like, man, what am I doing out here? <laughs> <laughs> all the time I'll be like, man, I'm away from my family. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be like, dang, like I just you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. It's like a it's a sacrifice. Right, right. But like deep, but deep. it's cool though, because like you say, you don't have no kids, no nothing. Yeah. So this is something that you wanted to pursue. Yeah, it's cool, but it get yeah, it, it get lonely. You do, know what I'm saying? Do you do you I feel like I felt sorry for you just a second ago? Yeah. Do you feel like, like your career is a kids, sacrifice? No nothing. Nah. You just, just hey, out do you there, bro. do you feel just like in L. A. Right, out me, there, bro? Just hella beautiful women and just. <laughs> <laughs> just Papa just was a rolling out there, man. Just going to day parties, just staying up late, wake up like staying up late, sleeping in life. Man, the celebrity parties. Wake up when you want to. Man. I don't know, man. Like that sounds so boring. I don't know what alarm. I don't even know what alarm is. I'll be like, and then me and Derek. We what be, day is it today? Yeah, I'll be like that too. Like today feel like a Friday or something or third. Like it don't yeah. feel like that. Don't feel like the holiday that. threw me off. Yeah, that Seems happens. Like a, like a like a Monday or something. What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I really be thrown off, bro. Hey, do you? Hey, I, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, man, I can't wait till you get one of them Netflix specials. Seems oh, like yeah. Netflix is trying to give man Netflix every is, comedian. Man, man, they giving everybody deals, bro. They hollered. They hollered at Derek about doing something for real. But they told him they wanted to do it, but they all about the followers. Mm. Uh, like they, they, you know what I'm saying? Like they. It's man, that social media stuff really matter, bro. Like getting your followers yeah. up, so you gotta have they, they want you to have some type social of social media. Is kind of like a managing your social media is like low key, like a job in itself. Man, you Cause post. you gotta, especially for you, cause you are your own. Yeah, you gotta post and you gotta like just promote just all the time. Yeah, people be like, I ain't. Like you do all these posts and they be like, I like they still be like they didn't see the show. Like you had a show, like right? I mean, I don't know. It's just. Hey, what what would you tell a kid trying to get in comedian? Like, be a comedian. Like, what advice would you give them? Man, I would tell them it's just man. If you want to do this, you gotta you know what I'm saying. Go at it hard. Get up every night. Like it's gotta be like you can't. It's like doing this. You gotta love it. Like, cause if you don't love it, you gonna be. It's you not gonna work it's out. It's not something that you know what I mean. Cause right. you gonna if you don't like it, you are gonna get burnt out. Like, man. and you see yourself doing this forever. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? that's what I am. Like, but do you think that? comedy is something that can be taught how to do or do you think that it's just something that is in just you. in you uh, i feel like the good ones the naturally ones are just you can't you just got it like you know what i'm saying i don't people that's taught they're like they can only reach a certain mm. you know what I'm saying somebody that's naturally funny or just got it it's like you know what i mean they they gonna be doing things that. Hey, how did he know that? It's just sound like a conversation I had a few weeks ago. Yeah. About what? Something else. He talking about sex. What? About how we were talking about um, some people are low jobs and Gee, all that let me stuff. Ask you let me ask you something. <laughs> can be <laughs> can't be learn. taught. You got uh, Tony Roberts joined us earlier. Uh, for real. <laughs> hey, this this what uh, the doc was talking about. He said. You can't teach a girl how to give a good fellatio. I said the word right. He, he did. Yeah, there he, he said you can't. Could you teach a girl how to I give said a some people are naturally gifted. Okay. True. True. And, some and the ones that are, aren't gifted, you can't teach I them said, how to be. I said if you I said if you gotta teach them, they'll never be I don't know. I think that's not true. I think like I think that's something. And that has just, nothing to do with what we're talking about now. I think that's something you I feel just like learn within the same boat. It's not. Like so you can, do you say you can tell a girl what you like and she can learn how to do it? I don't know. It's something y'all. I, I mean, it's, I, I ain't never really had to explain. Like, hey, girl, I want you to. <laughs> <laughs> like it's something that I don't know. Like, I mean, the it, L.A. girls is naturally gifted. Nah, I'm just saying, like I ain't, <laughs> like I figure at our age they kind. I mean, most of the girls is experienced. I kind of know. Yeah, yeah, I can dig it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you just learn. I mean, I don't know. It's a natural thing. Like, sex. I just just seen the parallel between what he he said. That's like a. You did a Brandon parallel. Nah. Nah, He just wanted to prove a point in it. it. Nah, Brandon parallels be a little bit lefter than my left. (laughs) That's. Anyway, so how do you. Like, what do you do? You pull from your real life for your jokes, or just do you be sitting around, people watching, and it, stuff come to you? Like, how do you come up with your material? It just come like a sing, like a like a songwriter. Like, I'm like, oh, that's fun. like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I was watching something. It was it was Bobby Womack. He was talking about. He was talking to his friend. And he was like, "If you think you're lonely now, wait till tonight." He was like, "Hold on, man, that's a song." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it just come like like I did a I did a joke about Derek. And it was a th- it was a situation that he probably he was like damn nigga I never thought that was funny but yeah. I seen the funny in it he was like dang you know what I mean like it just happens and I just be like oh, I'm gonna just yeah, he did joke about me too yeah it's just something it just come to me like how often do you change update? up the material yeah. uh, let me tell y'all about that real yeah quick. I, I could I, I, I I could switch it up like sometimes I could just do crowd work and just come off. Sometimes I go, I can go, I can go off the dome, and, right. but it, it's scary, you know. Hey, let me tell y'all. You had them points where you'd be like, oh. <laughs> we, we, hey, we had, we had, uh, what's, what's the one in Walnut Creek? We had the Tommy T's. Tommy T's. And my cousin Vito was like, blood, if I come to your show and you say one thing that I heard you say before, it's going to be a problem. G was like, don't act like I can't come from the head. Right. It's like, I'm just saying. Man, G ripped that show, like, just singing on the dude for like 15 minutes straight. 
And then he started working the crowd. That was hella funny. I was, I was yeah. impressed that day. That's when I was like, this nigga got it. Yeah, that was a, uh, it was a dude in there dressed like Aaron Hall. <laughs> and <I> was, <laughs> so then he was here looking like God. <laughs> He had the Aaron Hall hat. Straight, like he's straight from New Jack City, bro. He was sitting in the front. He was right in the front. I had to Man, go. Is it open season when you're yeah, in the front? I don't really normally talk about. I don't normally. If if you let me do my jokes, I'll just I'll do it. So you'll. But leave? if it's something, if it's something like like uh, sure I gotta yeah. address it, like I'm gonna say something, but. I don't normally just be going at the audience. The like, audience yeah. stuff. So is is being in the front safe? Is it like at Marine Row? Like, like, yeah, nah, I'll be not, trying not to get splashed, yeah, man. Not, it's, like, it's not safe to be. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in the front because you right you're there. You're liable to you get right, it. Yeah, because yeah. you're right there in the front. You just never know. They yeah. might need like, like it was a pick-me-up or something. I was doing a show um, on New Year's, and it was a black dude and a white girl. And I had to, you know what I'm saying? You tried to get and them. they told me that um, the lady before the show, she was like, yeah, they've been here since... Um, Seven o'clock and the show started at like nine thirty. Hey. So, oh, so I had to. I was like, "Hey, how you doing?" This white girl. And I'm like, I was like, man, I was like, I was like, y'all here? Y'all was here early, huh? She was like, yeah. And I was like, I was like, you know, I, was, I said, uh, I said, I know the black dude. I said, I know. I, said, I, I, I made it towards a joke. I'm like, man, I know the white girl. I was like, we have to be here on time. I was, like, I was like, bro, why you didn't tell her? You know, we started until like ten and this and that, and then just, you know what I mean? Just went on and then yeah. roll with it. Yeah, just roll with it. And I just because sometimes the comedians be going for blood for people. Yeah, in the sometimes. Row. They be going in. I, I feel like, like DL be doing that. Like, yeah, DL. Like, that's a part of his show. Like, at one point, he's going to be doing It seems like the older in. DL guy, he, he he don't be doing that, really. Does he still do stand-up? He don't really be going. Yeah, yeah he still yeah, does. He still. Oh, he does? You he know, he's like a thug now. He just dropped. He is, he is like, tatted he up. He's, like, tatted up. Have like, you seen him? He tatted up like, like Bernie. Like, he got like, sleeves like, and on the neck and everything. It's like he turned 40 and was like, nigga, I want to thug out right yeah. now. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, he going to have dreads in a few years. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I think DL do. just dropped the Netflix. He just dropped the Netflix special. Did oh, he? Yeah, I just seen it. I'm yeah. not a really big fan of him though. Like, I like funny. He funny. political stuff. He very. Uh, he is political. I was gonna ask yeah. you, are you? Do you ever nah, touch on? I don't a, touch on nothing political. Nothing. I ain't that deep. About <laughs> <politics>. <laughs> I tried though. Like you know, do like a little Trump situation, but right. I don't ever. I just talk about my life, like you know what I'm saying, what I know best. I mean, people would be like, "Yeah, you need to get a newspaper." I'm like, yeah. I mean, if it's something funny, I like, feel like you've been rocking with it this long. Yeah, I've been rocking with just me and you know what I'm saying, my family and uh, I seen Mary came to a show. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, she was yeah. like, uh, she said, "You just be telling all your family business." <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we yeah. had we had your brother on here mm-hmm. uh, like two weeks ago, man. Mm-hmm. It, hell, of people hit us up about that show. Mm-hmm. Like, how does it feel to have your like your whole family? You got a sister that's a cheerleader. Yeah. A brother that's an actor, a brother that's a pastor, and then yeah. you a clean comic. And that's another thing. Talk about yeah. that. Oh, yeah, you're clean. You're a clean yeah, clean. I mean, like, I'm, I could take my mama to the show. Yeah, I'm clean, but the older I get, I've been getting kind of nasty a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do <laughs> not, not Not nasty, but I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just be real life stuff. Like, you know what I mean? That yeah, I experience. Yeah, that I be talking about. Like, I got a joke about returning condoms. Like, you know what I'm saying? But That's not like, nasty. I mean, it ain't nasty, but it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, so was that a my conscious mom was like, oh, you decision about- <laughs> to not, like, curse and stuff in your material? Or did it just... Yeah, it just because I remember, like, when I first started, my mom was, like, real. Like, you know, you know what I mean? I just didn't want... I really did it because I didn't want my mom, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to embarrass her, like... Uh. Yeah. I seen somebody like I said I said nigga on stage and they was like yeah your son thought he was clean <laughs> I said a few things like some of her some of her friends came to my show she yeah. was like right. my son a clean comic he don't do none of that and then they was like you said nigga oh my gosh yeah. hey you know what's crazy blood I gotta say that I was like mom I'm finna say nigga if you talk to <laughs> right like let I, your friends I, let I your friends know mom yeah I'm gonna hey, say what's crazy is man I don't I don't I don't talk crazy on this because the fact that your mom could be listening to this yeah like, it's just the way we were brought up like yeah i would just be on like, instagram just wilding out like like you can't like we you can't i don't know the way we brought up you can't be that dude smoking weed cussing yeah. out people and yeah. cussing and, like it's just, knowing your mama they, following well i don't know they, they tell me they, like 18 they, episodes in like you know 
Uh, Our yeah. aunties be listening. I'm like, nigga, I've been cussing for. <laughs> I'm like, do you? Yeah, I'm like, you to stop cussing. Yeah, I'm like, do you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what you want to do. They, they say, yeah, do hey. me. But then when the aunties come to they be like, hey, this is he young. They be like, looking at me like, oh, so you the cussing one. Yeah. Listen, I just <laughs> yeah. want you to be you. Yeah, I want you to be you. If you cuss in you. real life, then you can hey. cuss in real life. Yesterday, looked at me and said, uh, so, uh, <laughs> He got around, he around <laughs> Auntie Glory in there. Yeah. He was like, so uh, is you just be saying that stuff? Or you? <laughs> but yeah, I just. <laughs> Who yeah, is you really? I just never, like, my mom was like, you know, but it kind of was a blessing because me not being able to, like. You get them church books. I get, I, I was able to be like, you know what I'm saying? I was able to get yeah. all that money. So that kind of helped me out in the beginning, too, because I could do churches. Yeah, I can do a church show and then do the same and be on a show with somebody like D-Ray. And, you know what I'm saying? Do the same material and it'd be. They just, you know what I'm saying? They won't feel like getting the same show. Yeah. yeah. That's dope to be. That's yeah. crazy. I never even thought about you being on the show because how wild D Ray is. Yeah. You go up and he go up. Yeah. Like I'm going, like, you know what I'm saying? Like and, and Tony nobody... Roberts or whoever. Yeah. It ain't like he. Yeah. The same. Damn. Hey, so I want to ask you, man. I ain't, ain't going to ask you to throw nobody under the bus, but I just want to get your opinion on Instagram comments. I was and thinking I, and, that too. And, 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 and so, like, I tell you, um, I went to go see, uh, was it just 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 hilarious, just hilarious, yeah. And she like her stand up to me mm-hmm. wasn't funny, but then if I look at her, just with the mess, her IG videos, mm-hmm. like she be hilarious. You know That's what I mean? It's just a minute though. Huh? It's just yeah. a minute. It's just a minute. You know what I'm saying? And so like, but it's a lot of folks like her. That's like they using yeah. the platform. Man, I ain't even mad. Like, I, at first, I used to be like, man, but I embrace it. Like, hey, get your money. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it kind of sucks because I feel like they um they not really being able to work at the craft of being a comedian. They just mm-hmm. like get the followers. Right. It's like, oh, you got the followers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you're mm-hmm. not really able to develop as a comedian. But at the same time, the comedy club is throwing them numbers at you because you putting butts in the seats. And that's what it's all about. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's a business at the end of the day. Like if you if you people come out to see you and I mean they might be mad afterwards. Right. I mean afterwards they be like, Man, they weren't funny, but But it's you know about getting them That's what it's all about. Cause you got people seats. that's yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, at the end of the day. I mean, Instagram, you got a million followers. Right. You got a million you got, you know what I'm saying, people coming to see you and that's all they they don't they don't even care if you're funny. They like man. You promote it, they get yeah. paid. That's a, that's a you got I people, never you thought got, about it from now. You got people like me that's hella funny. Right. But then we ain't got the follower. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't got the f- following. You know what I mean? Or so it's like you know, give or take. Like yeah, I never even thought about it yeah. from that angle. Yeah, if you getting it, I I embrace it though, cause I you know, like I used to be like, man, I ain't doing that Instagram stuff. But then if you don't do it, you gonna you get left to. behind. You know what I right. mean? Like the social media yeah. is like social everything. Media, social right media now. is big. Like it's huge. Like agents and like managers, they be looking at your numbers. So like, many, yeah. Like, your, you know and so many like, people get, get your separate. followers up, bro. With food. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like they don't care if you're funny. They like you know what I'm saying. If you gotta have that, you gotta have them numbers. So like, after my shows, man, I try to like push my line. Like hey, y'all follow me. I be having them grab their phones. Do it now like, that's together. What that's, right. what that's what you doing at the show. That's what I'm doing. A lot of cats. Uh, that's dope. A lot of cats. That's- that's yeah, like you know, I mean, I figure like I can part get, of the show. I, I can get everybody a following. Grab you know what I mean? Let me get you that sign. At least it's that people that see me. It. It's people that see me that was like, oh, he was funny. Like follow me. You know what I mean? So next right, time I right. come back or just, hey. I figure like this. I rather have. You know what I mean? It's like I mean, I may not. It's it's a it's something. Whether it's ten people that follow me or twenty. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's one it. of those things. Now I feel like in today and age, the definition of a celebrity is definitely changing. And how easy it is to become a celebrity nowadays, just off a video going viral. Yeah, you got people. Yeah, that's true. Because you got people like people that are like in movies, right? Are not. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you in a movie, it ain't like you think of these young gener- the young yeah. kids. They like they want to know like they, they the Instagram is the movie. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's not like being in a movie is probably not even that big now. But I think I would rather. Man, 
Tell you the truth, go I viral than being in the movie. I think if you ask one of these young kids, would you rather have a million dollars or a million followers? They'll they probably say, say followers. followers. Yeah. yeah, you can probably get more money off that million. No, I'm followers. saying, I, you know, what I'm saying, I'm thinking. I don't like, even think they're thinking about it in terms of money. Nah, they just would rather have a million. It's just crazy. <laughs> like on YouTube, YouTube is like big yeah. too. Like that little yeah. Ryan surprise, that little boy Ryan. He makes like ten million, ten million a year, and all he is doing is playing with toys. Yeah, and he's making ten. He's like seven, making ten million dollars a year playing with toys. Huh? And what? see what I'm saying? See how crazy this is? It's just all like the like the Kardashians, like all the celebrities. They get money every time they post something on their Instagram. Like it's just and they're they're like it's the, changing the people the people that are what are they called the uh, the Instagram people like the uh, like the main people that. Mm-hmm. Like they gotta have them post so we th- so that it's still relevant. Yeah, like Kim Kardashian has the post. Like she's like an they influencer. Have to post like, stuff. Yeah, like all like, my shows I've been watching, like the Teen Mom shows and all that stuff. Like all their postings are the same because this is what they're telling them to post. Because it's like a, a what's it that called that bait? What is it? Uh, where they want you to go to another link or whatever the case may be. But yeah. it's just it's just different now. Like how like social media, like we changed I, everything. Just imagine if we had social media and we was in high oh, school. Man. Oh man. man. You imagine going live, like the man. fights that was going on at Valencia. Oh man. my god. The side shows, man, the, bro. Man. Everything. the riots, the parties, the the, the, the Black Saturdays. Like imagine Black if we Saturdays. Man. it's crazy. Know how many how much access to more women we would have had? Crazy. You had man. you had some kids by now. Like, we just, like, you sex think about it, we just had the Lel, like you know what I'm saying? We just had the yeah, Lel Lel thoughts. Valeo Fairfield. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just imagine, just y'all could have been worldwide. I mean, they had Black Planet, but I mean, that wasn't really popping like that. I mean, it was Black, like, hey, Black Planet was popping for. I mean, it was, but it wasn't time. like. But it wasn't hey, like. Is MySpace not, still like now? here? No, MySpace got eliminated when Facebook. Yeah, MySpace. so it no longer exists. No, nah, it's still MySpace. There's still a MySpace. It, you yeah. can log into it. You can log into wow. it, but I don't think there's no traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody man, that's like, man, crazy, like, you're gonna follow us on my blog and get you like I might go in there and get a pop in there. Be like, man, <laughs> I, got like million, I got a million friends on Facebook. Didn't on, do on MySpace. like <laughs> basically took MySpace and just elevated it. Yeah, Facebook, that's all fa- he did. Well, Facebook and Instagram be kind of. I'll be like, is it gonna be something that's gonna take them out? Because they be kind of. But what can take them out? I mean, they the they the same now, so. I'm just saying, like, is it going to be another social media platform? Like, no. It's be something, mm. something else. I'm fine. Well, there's out. Twitter, Snapchat, IG, Facebook. It's be something. Those are like the four major ones, right? Yeah, but you got to say IG and Facebook is the same. Oh, yeah. You cause think so? Because they're, they're, the they're, the they're owned by the same company. Oh, so they cancel each other out. Yeah. I'll be thinking they'd be doing something, bro. I'll and then swear. IG, <laughs> Facebook <laughs> couldn't buy Snapchat. Tripping. Isn't so they trying to get them for a billion or something? They try to get them for something, man. Snapchat. Isn't like, it spooky no though when you guys can be talking about something and then you go on IG and, and scroll through and then it's like there what oh, you yeah, were talking yeah, about? Be, that'd be kind of creepy. That's them algorithms, right? That'd be creepy. I'd be like, wait a minute now. Yeah, that's, that's them that's algorithms. That's creepy. I don't like it. Somebody, some some girl was, I was uh, talking to, she had she got a big follower. She 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 like got heck of followers, like a hundred thousand followers, but she was saying like. She stopped posting really fully on Instagram because she said it's something with the algorithms. Like it ain't like your content don't get out. Like they do something where they pick where oh she what was, they want. Nah, they been doing. Hey, that. but the cast that I be fooling with, like the, the cast that really be like really be posting, they be having really a str- strategy about it. Like yeah, right? they be like yeah, we only post between. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a time frame, like eight o'clock on Mondays. Wednesday, like they do it, like people going to work. Like, they be right. like, if you think about it, people go to theories. work. So lunchtime, you know what I'm saying? Twelve o'clock they on Wednesday, there. or they'll be like Friday. Like you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like it's, it's a all whole, strategic, bro. They be like, on it's it, a like, whole nother yeah. world. Like, like people are it. making, like you guys make your skits. People yeah. make things just to post on Instagram. Bro, I just post like the, the Tiffany Haddish thing. Like I never know. Like I, I'll just be like, all right, I'm gonna talk about this, and I just did a video about people. How you? How you? How you? I mean, let's talk about that. Tiffany yeah. Haddish, like, how you feel about everybody talking about her bombing? Man, I just feel like everybody bomb. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, you bombed like that before? Nah, I ain't never bombed like that. Like, we're, not on that magnitude. Like, but yeah. I ain't never been on a show that big. But I but mean, I why, had, so she bombed. You're saying everybody bombs, but it's like, can you bomb when you're at that level? Yeah. I mean, when it's silence, yeah. when you just talking and when you talking <laughs> yeah, and I mean. Laughing. Yeah, and people just looking at you, yeah, bombing. bombing. Yeah. No, I know you can bomb. What I'm saying is, 
when you're at that level, you should not be bombing, right? Yeah, you shouldn't, but it's always, it's always. Like for Kevin Hart to go do a stand up right now and bomb, that would be like, are you serious? That means something wrong. Yeah. Something like he's either drunk. But see, I feel happened. like, I feel like that, that goes to what Cat Williams was saying about like her in particular. But that nigga done bombed the hell of times. Though. I mean, he has, in Oakland. Yeah. Remember he was in Oakland acting up? He has. Yeah. But his bombing is, Under is the influence. more like, yeah. yeah. Like him trying to fight somebody, him wilding, him. Nah, it, yeah, it's just, like, it, it ain't, to me, I don't think he bombs based off of like, material. I just don't have good material. He bombs based off of like, personal yeah. issues. Yeah, like yeah. he got some mental. Yeah. in today, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But well, yeah, she, I think she, I, I think that, you know, it just, it happens, you know, but, a lot of a lot of comedians were like talking bad on her, but I, you know, what I'm saying in the, in the comedy community, I don't I don't like wishing bombing on nobody. You know what I'm saying like, cause it could happen to anybody. It ain't, right. it, it ain't a good feeling when you have that <laughs> that long yeah, up there. that long ride home. You be like, dang. Hey, man. what's your worst bomb? Man, I remember um, my worst bomb. I never really just bombed, but I had like a couple of jokes that didn't go so that didn't go well. You like, <laughs> but I always play it off like, oh, y'all. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, so I ain't gonna laugh at my joke. I'm gonna get a joke off a of bomb. Like, oh, y'all yeah, making yeah, me yeah. work today. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, y'all like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I could play off the bomb. Is it more rewarding to have a show where the crowd is like a tough crowd, but by the end of it, they are like laughing their butts off? Or is it easier crowds who are just laughing at everything? Like, what's more rewarding? Yeah, I mean, they both. I mean, probably the the harder crowd to get. Or, you got or it. not. I don't want it to be hard for me, but say the comedians before me were struggling, and then I get them. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, yeah. or they be like, they tough. And I'm like, well, wait till I get on stage. So wait till I get on stage. I'm about to crack them. Hey, hey, do you do you be like when comedy's going up and be like, oh, they laughing at this. I'm going to rip it. Yeah, I'll be doing that. I'll be, you like, oh, like, I'll be like, they laughing at this. I'm about to. <laughs> he, get a, he get away with that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, oh, they wait till they wait till they get G, wait till they get a hold of this. But yeah, I do that too. I kind of gauge because I, I watch to see what the audience like. When I when I come into a room, uh, my mentor taught me this. Like I always look at it like, i be like, okay, it's a lot of women in here. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna do a lot of you know what I'm saying. If I got some women jokes or some jokes that they can relate so to, you can adjust. I go it. like, I be like, oh, they're young, so that can I can kind of right. talk how I want right. to talk. You or if it's an older it, crowd, depending yeah. on crowd, like when you get there, all that yeah. is not already like. You can, yeah, together. I kind of like play off. Oh, it's a lot of older women here. Okay, mm. so I can kind of like flirt. Hey, baby. Hey, lady. Hey, some, <laughs> some old cookers over here. You know what I mean? Like, a lot you know of what ladies mean? like that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be like, mm, I'm trying to get somebody to pay some bills up here. You know what I'm saying? You kind of play off that, so you and gotta. Them comedy groupies be real. Yeah, they be like, hey, but I always be, I always be naive. Like I'll be thinking the girl just giving me a compliment. Like, you were so, <laughs> I don't ever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They be like, you were so funny. And I be like, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like thinking, because I don't be one to think every girl trying to holler at me. Yeah. And then later on, they they be on Facebook. Like, my, I really thought you were cute, or you know what I mean? And, or something oh, like that. The like, girl that said I they had a good show. Yeah, you never know. Like, I wanted to know if you were single or something. You like, oh, she was flirting with me all that time. The uh, whole time, and I never. I knew. don't ever be knowing. I just be thinking, I mean, because you don't. You know right. I'd be like, yes, Barry, come through. <laughs> I got what's, what's, hey, what's the biggest uh, gig you got so far? The biggest gig, um, man, probably that Kevin Hart. I'm about to say, we know that's what the, it that's is. That's the biggest gig. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like the biggest. Hey, the, tell us about that because you ain't yeah, really told us about, about that the yet. Man, it was, city. man, bro, like let's I was from just, the beginning. It was funny. I was just talking to Derek like early that year, and I was like, man, cuz I gotta get a TV credit, bro. Cause I feel like in LA, everybody had a TV credit. Like you know what I'm saying? Does like, that matter? That really matters. Yeah, so yeah, what? Bro. What's what's the TV credit? Cause you've been on Comedy Central. Man, you've been on the TV. TV credit. Just man, I just been getting dates. Just all the dates I got this weekend. Like people, like you know what I'm saying? When you on TV, it just puts you on another. No, but I'm saying you've been on Comedy Central, like on like skits and all that stuff. So nah, but this is like Kevin Hart's Heart of the City. So it's like you know what I mean. So it's, it's a di- different level. It's like a different level. So just because your name is involved in it, yeah, it's just like, like when you, when you, I mean, just, I mean, just the show, Heart of Kevin Hart, Heart of the City, like okay. you know, what I'm saying he the hottest comedian, and my name is attached to that, like in this show on Comedy Central. Okay. So that like just me once once that airs, I can like push that, like man, I'm on Heart of the City. You know what I'm saying? I can get more shows, and it just puts you. And in L.A., you know, everybody. This centered around people having TV credits or like right. they want to be like, oh, he's from Comedy Central. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. People want to people that book me want to say that like, oh, we got you know what I'm saying? Like, 
He's from Harder. He's from Comedy Central. Harder than City. Do Harder than City get that? Because I never. I I I haven't heard about it until uh, what's the name from Sack got onto it. BT. BT. That was yeah. the first season. Oh, that was the first season. That was the first season. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and that just puts you on. A, um, I'll probably get some looks. Some agents will probably reach. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. see, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be watching it. Like, oh, we wanna. I didn't even know BT was on it. Yeah, BT yeah, was, yeah, on was on the first. He was on the Sacramento one. Okay. And then I, I was talking to. I was. I was kind of. I was kind of mad when they. Um, when they didn't do the Bay Area, I was like, they ain't gonna do Sac. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So oh, I was that kinda, first season. Because you had to be from Sac, right? So it was some cats from the Bay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Trying to. Hey, man, I, nah, I ain't from the Bay. I'm from Sac. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, you. All of a sudden, Sac cool. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm from Sac, bro. I live in one six. Oh my. I'm from Sac, back bro. Road, man. <laughs> nah, you was claiming Oakland. Nah, I live in South Sac. But so now they but verify so they, that you from the area. Yeah, you had to be from the area. Like even how they verify. Just, I mean, people know, you know. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, so yeah. when they did the Oakland one, I was like, oh, I'm about to get this. Uh, I was like, I need the credit. Like I was like, I was like, I'm getting this. Like right. and they know. <laughs> I was like, bro. Like I was like, man, I'm about to, I'm, I'm getting this. So I went up like, man, like a month straight, bro. I got up like every night, like for like I want to say a month prior to me auditioning. Uh, like I wanted to be like, I wanted to be in rhythm. Like I was like, man, I'm finna. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted like as soon as I hit the stage. It's crazy. The night before, I the couple of days I had did a show and it just went bad. Like I was like, dang. dang. I did it. It was one of them <laughs> nights. I was like, dang. dang. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. Derek, Derek was like, man, that's cool, bro. You got that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you gotta knock, knock that knock that knock that bad set off and then go. Yeah, and then the next show. But then when I with the heart of the city, B was at the audition. He yeah. said you yeah. killed man, it. Man, I was, bro. I was, yeah, I, was, I, was, yeah. I, was, I was, I was, I was, I need you to be there. I came there. Cause I, hey, man. I think I was stage. I was like, blood, look. I don't know what they looking for. <laughs> I was yeah, like, but, but you, out of what I see, I was like, yeah. I never in my life seen you rip it like that. I was like, you had that Bruce Lee grow. Man, bro, that was, glow man. on Bruce Lee Roy. Right. After he caught that bullet, I man. said, you had that talk. That's I, I was said, hungry, bro. Him. I was like, because I was like, I don't know when That's I'm going to get one that. I was like, I don't know when I'm going to get another credit. Like, yeah. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it been Oakland. You know what I'm saying? It's just perfect. Bay Area. Boy, it gave me chills. Like, you know I, 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 I can't wait exactly. till the air, bro. I'm going to be like, man, it's going to be So crazy. do you get your own show or or is it like you and other comics on the same episode? See what it episode? is. Kevin Hart, they, um, what it is, he's showcasing comedians all, all over the country. So it's like six cities. So St. Louis, I have their episode. Mm-hmm. Okay, got you. Dallas, and I'll be the Bay Area. So they'll they'll probably like take some videos of Oakland, the Bay Area. Like, oh, the Bay Area uh, comedians. You know what I mean? Or they just give you like breakdown of right, Oakland or whatnot. Right. And then we'll do the. I don't know. We'll do the interview with Kevin. And then um, they'll show the interview with us, Kevin talking with Kevin, and they show our stand up. It'd be like, you know what I'm saying? They gonna try to make it seem like it's the same day, but they shot it two different days. <laughs> <laughs> it was like we had to wear the same outfit. They was like, <laughs> it was, just getting off the stage. Yeah. How do you feel? Like, How do you feel? Like, I feel pretty good. But that 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 was surreal. Like when I when I did it, I was like, dang, it was crazy with the cameras and stuff. It was weird because it's not it's not like regular stand up. Like right, you at like right. you at a comedy show. It's it's taping, so it's like. They prepping you, putting makeup on, and then you got to like. So it didn't feel like a real show. It felt like feel like it felt like y'all were just, it felt like y'all were just laughing at it, like just because y'all cause they think cause they, you knew you were gonna have a they good had, crowd. They, they had to prep the audience. So they were like just laugh. So I didn't know. I didn't nah, know. Nah, but was, it was a funny show though. Like but I, I didn't know you know, felt like that. But but it, it didn't feel like it was like natural. It, yeah. it, it felt like it was like gang, like yeah. comedy club laughter. Like I got to work. It was like they were just laughing at everything. Like yeah. I went to the store, Brennan. Everybody, even my mama, <laughs> even my mama was like, <laughs> she, she was all into it. You know what I mean? Like everybody, man, I looked at like it I ain't like, even told the joke yet. Now man. I looked at it like this, man. Everybody that was at the taping for the Heart of the City Three mm-hmm. was family. Like you know what I'm saying? So it was yeah. personal invite. So yeah. everybody that's there is happy. Oh, from each comedian, from that, each comedian yeah. that came there uh, is personal right. invites. Yeah, and it people was all that, love. So people was, that they invited. So it's just pure. Yeah, love like yeah. anybody that was there was meant to be there or supposed to be there so you yeah. happy for them like more than it is to be like some fake laughter you like man i can't believe it like yeah you got you one of the chosen ones yeah, it you was mean? all love like because everybody was um invited like yeah my 10 guests and then that was that sucked because i only you only had 10 people i know so, like, i wanted right. to go i was trying to get everybody in yeah. so what what then, no the, i i had got you in and then you couldn't go or something yeah. like that so I, I think i gave it to Brittany. Yeah. Some, uh, so how many folks uh, audition? Like, like man, they had this. Oh yeah, was it an audition where people was like, yeah, was, we didn't it was, make it? It was audition Thursdays, Thursday, Friday, and I did Saturday. 
was a fashion. Did you go to the audition or just the taping? I went, you went to the audition and the taping. Oh, so the audition, you didn't know if you had it the or not. Audition the audition is when I told him he got it. The audition, yeah. I was like, blood. But the audition like, wasn't like family audience. That no, was like no, I, I, whoever wanted to come. Yeah. Whoever wanted to come. Oh, so it was real. When I did the audition, it felt like real. Like real. Right. Did but, you have to do the same set you did for audition for the show? Nah, I did different. I mean, I did. I was kind of. Then when I did TV, I was like, dang, I wanted to. I was like thinking with jokes. Pull out all your good ones. Yeah, and I was like, man. I, but I was thinking. I was thinking, like, I don't want to be funny just for the crowd. I want to be funny for people. You know what I'm saying? Watch somebody it. in. Right. Somebody in Maine. Like, oh. So I had to like think, like, I wanted to be funny for TV. Because it's not just. It's us. different. Yeah, it's different when you're doing it for TV because it's got to be really. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be for the masses. Like you can't talk about like a Vegas club. You gotta make right. it for everybody. So yeah. I hate Vegas clubs. Yeah. But um, yeah, but yeah, it was cool, man. When I um the audition, but then when I met Kevin, I was that was dope. Like, that was. You know what I'm saying? He I wasn't was like, at the audition. I was trying not to stare. Him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> is he really really short? <laughs> he was hacker cool. Like, hey man, what's up, man? Hey. He was hacker cool. Like just. It was like it was like I'm glad that somebody dope like him is making it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he had a cool like like. Hey, tell him about that story that one when he remembered you. Nah, he didn't remember me, but I'm talking about remember the situation. Oh, okay, because I we was me and Brennan we went to go see him because we he had just this soul plane. He was like, man, I go see Kevin Hart. This like he wasn't pepper even, bellies. He wasn't Kevin. He Hart. was reachable. Like yeah. he could be like, what's up, Kev? Like you know what I'm saying? Like we actually talked to him. After the and, show, uh, yeah, talk well, to him after he was the show. Performing at Purple Belly, because yeah. I was like, "Hey, <laughs> you don't have to explain anything." Because I told him, because <laughs> yeah, exactly. hey, I told, I told him, and he had a little cocky response. I was like, "I was like, man, I was able to." He was like, "Yeah, now you." He was like, "He was like, that won't happen now." He was like, "But you was saying like he basically saying like you ain't gonna be able to just walk up on me now, yeah. like you know what I mean?" I was like, "Yeah, that was different." And then he was like, uh, "I was talking to him. I'm like, man, I remember I met you and I bought a DVD." He was like, "Oh, snap, Pepper!" Like he remember Pepper Belly. He's like, he, he don't remember me, but yeah. he remember being there. He was like, "Man, we gonna talk about that." He was like, I want to iterate on that on the interview. So he was like, man, my man G King, we actually crossed paths. He was like, when I was grinding like a young comic like them, you know, we met at a comedy club. And who would have thought that, you know, yeah, 10 right, years later, right. he'll be on, you know, That's I wasn't even doing comedy then. You know, like, yeah. Know. Pepper Bellies burnt down, didn't it? Yeah, they yeah, burned that down, did. bro. I think it was yeah, something. That was they never rebuilt back that back up? No, they, nah, they, they did. Got some, they got some that bread and dip. I drove by there. <laughs> it's, some, it's something else going on. Like, Makes you wonder I who feel, really burnt it down. Yeah, like, they got that bread. Like, yeah. 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 I think it was some fraud. Yeah. I think yeah. they was, because yeah. they, they always they complaining to them about how the building. They was behind. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think they was like, man, hey, what we going to do is. Three spots. Set this thing off. All right, I got one. So we was talking about this yesterday with my nephew. He nineteen. Was it with Jalen? What? I don't know what you're talking about. We was talking about uh Martin Lawrence. Oh yeah. I was just so surprised that he ain't never seen you so crazy. That like blew my mind. I was like, wait, what? And they were like, Duh, it's an age gap. Anyway, but we were talking what is it, Mount Rushmore? Oh yeah. So who would be your Mount, Mount Rushmore. Rushmore of comedy? Oh, that's Man. a good one. So that's just your top. What is it? Four, four of them up there. That's a good one. What's your top four? Man. Should it be dead or alive? It got nah, alive. Alive. Top nah, four. I gotta be dead or alive, man. man. Nah, man, it gotta be alive. Alive. Yeah. That makes it harder. Alive. Yeah. Okay, I would say, uh, man, I would go. Is there even four Mount Rushmore? That's why I said it would be hard. Alive. Man, I think it's five. Mount Rushmore is five. It's four. It's four G. It's four. That- <laughs> I was trying to get an extra one. <laughs> this is four. Yeah, this, this, please don't I, say man, that. I, I probably have to say, I, just off of me watching him, I watched him for six hours and like, what the hell am I doing watching this dude for six hours? I gotta go with Dave Chappelle. Like, That's what I said. Yeah. Like Dave Chappelle is like from a comedian. From me being a comedian, like his funny is like on another level. I gotta go with Dave. Uh, you don't even see his punchlines coming. I was like, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I got to go with Dave. Um, man, believe it or not, bro, it's probably going to be odd, but I worked with him. Same bad. He's good, though. He oh, was yeah, funny yeah, when we a, saw him. Yeah, I didn't expect that oh, one. Like, Sinbad, I feel like I was laughing when we Sinbad saw his funny. set. I worked with Sinbad. He is funny. Nah, he did. And I, I, seen, I, him I, seen, do, him I seen him do, like, the whole, I did a whole weekend with him, and yeah. he was just going, like, just. Every show was different. different. He, he, was he was trying funny. to get me to do, he was like, bro, just, uh. He was like, man, you know, talk about what you, what happened. You, he said, you had your temp job. He was like, man, talk about that. Like he was just like, I was like, well, that's not funny to me. Like, like, hey, dude, right. he, like he so he just, just naturally just, he just naturally talking, just huh? talking about what's going on. Like just 
I feel like it's kind of like I didn't Mike Epps is. I didn't hear him say the same. No, Mike Epps be doing the same jokes. Yeah, Mike, Mike Epps been doing the same he jokes. He do a set. Like, he do a set. Uh-huh. But Sinbad, like, I think I might have heard him do like two or three of the same jokes. And the whole, the whole weekend. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's really. Sinbad is. That's a, really good. You know what's beast, dope, bro. though, man? Like, Sinbad is a beast. Hey, hold on. Before you call him your next person, hey, I got. No, I've been with you on this journey. I got a lot of respect for Sinbad. Cause you just reached out to Sinbad like, hey, I'm a new comic man. I've been yeah. following you, blah blah blah. And then he put you on. Yeah, he put me on the show. And then me and him became cool. Like once I did that show, that's, like, that's dope. dope. We exchanged numbers. Know, like, like Sinbad was cool. Don't know him from a can. You got his number in your phone? Yep. I think he changed it, but. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I had it like heck of long ago. But you know how they be changing numbers. Right, I ain't got right. the new one. But I ran into him when I went to the. Uh, you just I did a show the, with him um, last year, though, right? Nah, I was at the. I was at the. What's that show? The Rail Show? Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of my boys in my acting class was in the was in the show. And so I went there and I seen Sinbad. He was like, Who's that? like you know what I mean? Like right. it's all love. Cause he's still like touring and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he right? actually shot me. He's like, man, he's like really like he he pays like after the shows, he pays the way staff. Like tip mm-hmm. him. Oh, he real? shot me an extra like I think I got like eight hundred for the weekend. I think he shot me at, like an extra five hundred just on Jeep like Cause I did so, good. Like just, right. he's been in it for he's a minute. He's giving though, away right? money. I was like the waste staff. Like, everybody be happy with Sinbad. How long Sinbad. has he been <laughs> in it for? Man, like thirty some years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching him. Like I think he was one of the first. I remember watching him. Me yeah. running like the HBO specials. Uh, so when he was Afro, on a different Afro's world, bell bottles. Yep. when he was on a different road, he was uh, already. Two, two. Yeah, yeah. He was already. Sinbad. He was already a comedian. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. His story on how he became a comedian it was crazy. Like he was like, he was like some people just got it like naturally. Like he was only like doing comedy like two months, and he was like doing forty five minutes. Wow! Oh wow! Like he was just he just they was like hey, <laughs> that's how that you natural. Do? He was just like I don't know. I just they was like how like <laughs> he was he was calling the club telling them he was a headliner, and then they was like okay well you know what I mean. <laughs> Like he was like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was hustling. like he was like a hustling like type. Like, yeah, I could you know what I'm saying, calling, act like Where he was his he agent. From? You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? They like, okay, and then they they you know, they didn't know where he was from. They like, where's the dude come from? Like where's, he was an actual good thing from? he even had come up in Michigan? social media. Huh? He from Michigan. He from Michigan. That's like I, I wanna oh. say, uh Is his real name Sinbad? I was gonna say Oakland, nah, but I it's like that's uh, uh Cooper. I think it's like James something. Hmm. something okay, so we have Dave Chappelle, Sinbad. Sinbad, I have a D Ray. You put D Ray up there? D Ray is funny. Hmm. Actually, like just I mean, I just like his style. Um He definitely and, does and not was, have a clean man, set. And it's for weird, sure. bro. And definitely I'll say does I, not. have you seen D Ray? I would say Corey I Holcomb, have. dog. Hey. Corey Holcomb. I, was I, like, I was just watching Corey Holcomb special. Like I, I like Corey so Holcomb. So that's your four? Yeah, that's that's probably that's odd. Like I, it's an odd. I'm four. good with three of them. I, I think hey, the only I, one I ain't good with is D. Who's your four B? You Joma? Alive? Alive. Man, I got I got Chris Rock. I was actually joking. Yeah, I don't do Chris. I mean Chris yeah, Rock. I, yeah, I would definitely have Dave, Dave in my. Uh, yeah, I need to yeah, on my Mount Rushmore. Um, That's that fifth that. one you I was talking say about. I gotta say Kevin because I'm on the show. Yeah, you gotta say. <laughs> That's the fifth yeah, one that you was talking Kevin. about. Hey Kevin, man. You, uh, <laughs> I still, I still would go to like classic, uh, Cat Williams. Um. Larky said. Oh, it's Larky. We find him. Dang, I gotta. I don't know who my other two would be. Man, here we go. I'm about to bust mine. Mine's is different. It's from like people I worked with. Right. Like, seeing like, oh, like I don't know. And I got. You said Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Dave Chappelle. Chris Rock over Dave Chappelle. No, that's the top. It's my four. four. Oh, okay. No well, you order. Do the order. You gotta do Dave. No, no order. It's no order. order. Oh. Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock. Um, I gotta give it to Kevin Hart, man. Just because all he done. Yeah. And um, Corey Hogan. Yeah, Corey Hogan. Corey Hogan. I like. Uh, Is that the one to be on Wall and Out? Donnell. Yeah. What's Donnell his? Rollins. I heard yeah, he I like funny, Rollins, but I've never bro. seen him before. Donnell Rollins right, is funny, bro. funny, bro. Donnell, I, just, I just did a show with Donnell Rollins. That's when I said a joke. When he said, For real? Remember when I said about his son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was his joke. And like, That's hey. sad, man. How you feel about that, Bill Cosby? The Bill Cosby yeah. situation? Was you a Bill Cosby fan? Nah, I mean. Who wasn't? That was like the I best mean, show ever. I'm saying, like, like, a lot of comedians I, I like, don't like, I like him because he. Oh, comedian wise. I like Bill Cosby. But as he got. as as I got older, he was kind of like he was kind of really going hard on the black man. He like, was mm. self righteous, man. Like, he was like, wait, you, know, you he, didn't watch the Cosby Show? And you know that he didn't watch the big fan. And you know I don't he, like the Cosby and show. You, you know, did not like the Cosby it's Show. It's too white. I don't like white hey, Tiff. black stuff. 
Oh and you know, did gosh. you know, you know, R. Kelly was against Def Jam. Like he was like at that point, like because you know Def Jam was. I mean, it was raunchy comedians, but he felt like he didn't want that portrayal. Like well, he was, R. Kelly he was or against Bill Cosby. Cosby. No, Bill Cosby was against uh, Def Comedy Jam. Like. Uh, like against that whole. Like Bill is Bill Cosby thing. was his stand up even funny? Yeah, nah, he was funny. I mean, he was, was you know he was like supposed to be yeah, like back in the day. I'm saying yeah, like, he, like he catered to a certain group. Yeah, he but Bill to Cosby, people, was, right? He did not like the Cosby Show. Why didn't you like, I like the, Cosby the Cosby Show? That show was amazing. Bro, the Cosby Show was like white black people to me. You tripping, Why? Huh? Show me. I need an example. He's saying it's just I never too thought white, about like white people when I watched I, the Cosby you Show. You thought about white people. Bill, you thought they were trying to think white? about the Cosby Show was a portrayal. They were just showing success. It was it was, it was the first time it was a portrayal of a successful, a successful black family, man. a black doc, a black a black lawyer, doctor, lawyer, right. black doctor, lawyer, kids mother. in college. But think, but, but think about all the shows prior to that. Like they were struggling. Right. Good times. Like, I, I just I'm just saying like I didn't connect with. It. I thought it was some assimilated black folks. It just made it be like wow. it just showed a different. I've never, never heard, heard that. that That's what I said. I never heard that. It showed a different perspective on black people. Like, yeah. successful like they, black like people. Like their life was too. It's a TV show. It was too happy for so me. So you like that? You like the good So you time. mad when people happy? No, I'm not mad when people happy. <laughs> I just, it didn't seem you realistic happy for me. <laughs> it <laughs> just didn't seem realistic Well, see, that's why they did. So, you know, when that show first, was, first started, Sandra wasn't, like, the first season, she didn't even exist. They added Sandra to show that they had already had a successful daughter, like, graduate right, right and in college and then i think they try to make it more realistic with denise and her failure in finishing college and how she came to like kind of break up that perfect life like we not perfect either we got a daughter who dropped out of college went over to where she go somewhere, somewhere came back with right. a husband and a daughter yeah. And stuff like that. I love that show. I thought it was a great representation of I, black folks. The only, the only thing I never understood. And a different role was Bomb, too. The only under, the only you thing probably I didn't never, like that either, hey, huh? Yeah, Jones. The, only thing, the only thing that should throw me off as a kid is that I feel like the people, the care, like, because of Denise, she was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, right. how did they? Like, but she was like, she was like, to me. Yeah, what do you just, mean? But to look me, at our like, kids. Look at my kid. But Denise like didn't look like eyes. she would be in their family, though. To me, it's I'm like... I'm talking about back then. I mean, the Cosby show was like blackish right. to me. That's exactly what it black-ish is. Blackish is not dope, bro. I don't I like see, I don't really like... I never got into blackish. Blackish is straight coonery. You don't like blackish? I never I got into like blackish. it's straight coonery. Wow. What about grownish? It's the same thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm saying but I'm like them both. <laughs> I, like I, I never like really got into either, but the like Cosby in a different role. Of black hey, Blackish is dope, though. Why you I mean, like I, a different role? I get it. Why all these so, shows are good representation so of black on, people? Like, I don't like it's why. not. So the different world is different for me. It's like it's not that I don't like the different world. I just, you know what I mean. I just didn't like. Uh, what's her name? Denise. No. Whitley. Whitley. You didn't like Whitley? Get no, her. I didn't like her. AKA light skin. But that's yellow. real life, though. And I don't like them people in real life. So she she made you not like the whole show, or you just didn't like her? I just didn't like her, and I didn't like the way Dwayne Way was, like, fawning over her. Because I used to be like, bro, like, she's not bad. Like, why are you on her like that? So he was taking the show too personal. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, like these are real people. If I real, went to him, and it's, real, it's not even, it's not even real people. It's, it's that... <laughs> I would never ever date a woman like that. What about did you like Family Matters? I did. did. Family Matters was more more yeah, relatable. Like it. it was more relatable to me. Yeah. That was so unre like so unrealistic <laughs> show. I like Family Matters. He freaking Matters. went into a c- capsule and came out a whole different Ar- person. Stefan <laughs> Arkell. It's, but and it's TV. A- it's not supposed to be real. Exactly. So why hey, about, are you so personal about, about Different World and Cosby Show? What about Moesha Show? You, yeah, he liked that. I like that. Moesha. Moesha he liked all cool. them shows that aren't like realistic in real life. I like the Cosby, Cosby Show. Did to me wasn't realistic. Like like Bill Cosby to me has always been corny. He represents the African American segment of the community. I don't identify as African American. I identify as Negro. Carl Winslow. Mm. I never heard it like that, but yeah, I mean. Man, then what since I'm just thinking about the Golden Cartrail shirt. That show was good. <laughs> show that was that show was good. good when they had the real life episode hey, with Theo. Are y'all still on um 
Love and Hip Hop. Y'all be watching that? Yep. yep. I watch all of them except for and Miami. I fell off, bro. I don't even I, I, fell off I, too. I catch a random one. Uh, I don't be watching there. like I, I fell off. I, I think I'm, I am current. Bro, I think I'm off. Like the, to know. I'm off the reality. Like I don't know. I, don't hey, know. Watch I think I'm more into like Housewives mm-hmm. of Atlanta. I don't even be watching reality. I don't be watching Love and Hip Hop. Uh, I, I fell off, off a TV. Well, time. Love and Hip Hop is I'm more very like not real. Like they're like overboard, not real. But it's still very entertaining. Yeah, I know some people that like one. Like when I came to, it's funny when you when you when you be watching like when you know people that's on the show and they be telling oh, you. Oh yeah, that really... one guy I was watching on. Um, you be like, are you the one that one black dude? Oh, Lewis Belt. When he yeah. was on that show, Brandon yeah. was like, "Hey, that's a comedian yeah. dude." Yeah. Hey, yeah. The, the thing about loving hip hop that get me is as much as it ain't real, like real babies is being born out of them shows. Oh yeah. Well, it's like it's not It's so like it's having, like this happening in your life, do you want to get money off of it? And let's kind of yeah. like overdo it. Yeah. But I was I, to me it's like a like a like a Joe Button and his girl, right? Mm-hmm. Like they had a baby outside of the show, now they're bringing that into the show. But then you look at like a a Peter Guns and his that was just dumb. baby mamas, right? Like I be sit, or if you look at like uh, Stevie J and and the Puerto Jackson Rico, right? Oh, what, what about the one girl they hooked up? Safari and um, uh, Erica Mena. Yeah, they hooked up. Right, so I be I be is looking. Is it at real that. or is it fake? Mm. It be fake to me until what a baby is real? born. And the only thing about the reality show, they don't, they get nervous, like. Like after, like they're not respectable. Like, not like <laughs> after like they they try to carry themselves like, but they be like, you know what I'm saying? It's you're not right. like you. Unless you're and, a Kardashian, and then they're not relevant. Like what's the show? You know what I'm saying? Unless like, you're a Kardashian. Yeah, That's true. I mean, but they. I'm talking about loving hip hop. I mean, nobody really, isn't Joe Budden relevant. Then they always in the studio. It don't never know. Never, 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 never music come no out. Music never, no music. Always got drive. business that don't come out. Yeah, yeah. Like Cardi B well, is the only one that really blew up. Like Cardi B. Well. Yeah, Cardi B, because she, she got in and got out. She was like, let's go. Get she in. did how you're supposed to do it. I just like how on Love and Hip Hop New York, like on one week they got Treyway on one episode, and a week later he arrested in jail. I'm just like, is he uh, coming back on Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know they take this like No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, I just like how that just like, oh, this nigga real gangster in real life. Hey, like, G, and who, who starstruck you besides Kevin Hart when you said you was like trying not to look at him? Jay-Z. You seen Jay Z? Oh! When I seen Jay Z. I was like, oh, I forgot. He, he, he didn't even have to think about that. He was like, <laughs> he was in the comedy. I don't know. I got a text. He was, was like, Hey, Beyonce just walked past me. <laughs> I was, I was la- like, What? Hey, I was at the Laugh Factory. It's funny because there, I was like, D, I'm gonna go to the Laugh Factory, and it'd be weird because I always be on the other end, like. It be nights where I be like, man, so I sit back and watch. I ain't finna go to the like, like right. I be like, I ain't finna go to the Hollywood. Like, I'm not finna go to the Hollywood Improv today. And every time I go, it be something popping. Like, it just be random. Like the other day, I didn't go. It was 50, 50 cent, fifty cent, and um, what was it? Fifty cent, and somebody was shooting dice. Like it was, you know, what I'm saying. I think it was fifty cent, and was it? I think it was fifty cent. Corey Holcomb. They were shooting dice. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, you know what I'm saying? It just be right. something the heck of people was filming it, or just Dave Chappelle was chilling, and he'd be like, "Dang!" But the day I was like, "Man, I'm gonna go to the Laugh Factory." Only reason why I went because the dude in my acting class was performing, so I was like, "I'm gonna go." We all, all, all the people in the acting class was gonna go, so I'm chilling, and they were like, "They was acting funny." I'm like, Man, "They acting weird today." So I came in there, and they was like. You can't use your phones. If I see you use your phone, I'm kicking you out. And I'm like, well, man, we always film at the Laugh Factory, like when the performances. So I, I walk upstairs, and I'm like, man, they tripping today. Talking about I can't use my phone, and my boy was like, oh no, nah, cause, cause Jay Z here. And I was like, where Jay Z at? <laughs> and he was like, right there. And I was like, oh snap. So I'm like looking. I'm like, I'm, I'm looking over there, like you know what I'm saying, like oh, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. He's sitting there with nobody. He's sitting there with a whole section by himself. I think his bodyguard, he just chilling. He laughing, enjoying the show. He just chilling. And then, so then I'm chilling. And then I see a girl, like, with, you know what I'm saying? She had, like, a hat on with a hoodie. I mean, not she didn't have a hoodie. She just had a hat on. Right. But she 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 walked in, like, and I was like, hold on. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, that's beyond. Like, everybody was like. And then it didn't register until she, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, snap, Beyonce. Remember he said, and she, baby, look just like Beyonce right there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, I look like Beyonce. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, L.A. could be right. a chick that really looked like Beyonce. You know? so then, I was like, take a picture. So then I had to sneak a picture. And I was, and then the, the, the lady that told me she was going to kick me out, 
she was like the 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 week later she was like i'm so glad you took the picture she's like everybody she was like nobody took a picture we didn't have no proof <laughs> <laughs> I, was the, I was the only one that took a picture i was like i'm gonna get it you know what i'm saying like, i was being on some rebellious like right. y'all gonna tell me i can't feel you know what i'm saying so i thought to get a picture in the dark you can't really i don't know if you could tell could you tell with jay-z yeah, yeah, you could. Because he had a hat on. I thought, I, thought, I, thought we, I thought I was going to meet him at uh, seeing him wedding, dog. The reason why he was there is because Gerard Carmichael invited him over. They, they was. I know he. I said yeah. that, and I did a little research. I was like, apparently they're friends. They're doing. Oh, De- and Derek called uh, Jay Z and Derek Gerard. had called Gerard, Gerard Carmichael, and he was like, they got something in the works. So. Because he was like, hey, what, you know what I mean? Hey, Carmichael, they they love Carmichael, huh? Yeah. Is that the TV show? Guy? Yeah. Hey, I never his show saw was that funny. show. Yeah, his Are you show serious? Is. I like this show, I never blood. S- hey, Carmichael's show was funny. I, he got I, that I, I, dry, I never, funny humor. I never like felt him. it. He I mean, got that Seinfeld humor for black people. Yeah, he 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 wasn't his acting. Why was did the show of, go off? But, but it's, the, it's but little real, real, little real was funny. Yeah, yeah David was funny. Allen Greer was funny. Hey, did you guys see the, the preview um, for Key and Peele movie? That's what I thought she was gonna say too. Uh, that movie like well, y'all just killed her whole. Wait, Key and Peele got a movie that looks. Man, it looks scary, scary one. The dude that did. Wait, did. I thought that was the Get Out dude. Yeah, yeah, same thing. That's Wait, the same. it's not the black dude. Yeah, yeah, Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele. No, it's not who I'm talking about. What's the other guy's name? Michael Keegan. Wait, hold on, time out. Kevin Pause. Hart. Who we talking? About? <laughs> Jordan <laughs> Peele. Wheelchair? Remember the guy we were watching on, on Get the... Out. The dude's friend on Get Out. Oh, uh, you talking about? Um... What's his name? Lil Real. No, no, no. You yeah, about- Lil Rel. Yeah. I thought that was him doing all these movies. No. 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 Oh, my mm. God. Where you been? He didn't do these movies? No. no. It's the corny dudes that nobody expected. I yeah. thought that Jordan, I thought that nah, Lil Rel did nah. Nah. Get Out, and nah. I thought that he's doing this one. Nah. nah. You see him on Bird Box? Lou Rose on Bird Box. Lou Rose on Bird Box. was on Bird Box. You know what? He showed up. Box. Oh yeah, he was the dude. Like you ain't seen Bird Box. He was kind of fatter nah, than him. I ain't seen he lost Bird some weight. Box. Yeah, nah, he he kind of big. Why you ain't seen Bird Box? Hey, I watched I don't it. Watch scary Taking black. It's, it's not, not scary, it's not scary it's not at all, scary, bro. Okay, I, I watched. Scary I mean, like, either. not even. I, I could it. really let the kids watch it. I watch it. Not scary. It's not daytime. Nah, I don't know about kids watching it, but it's kind of. It's not. It was dumb. I watch it in the morning. It's kind of suspenseful, like. Nah, it's it's like right. suspenseful for no reason that you're gonna be mad that you was suspended. But I don't know if I would have the kids <laughs> when you find well, out what know. happened. Nah, I ain't for watching. What I'm saying is, saying it's like, not. I ain't saying like, like Bella, dog. I'm talking about. Like, I didn't got the whole synopsis from a group of kids. They were just like, "Look, check this out. Look, we're gonna give you the whole synopsis so you ain't scared no more." And I was like, "All right, I'm I'm down." Wait, with so it. y'all telling me that Little Rail don't do movies? No, kid, no, he dude. got his I mean, own he, show. I mean, he, he got his own show, but he I know he got his show. But nah, he ain't. Nah, y'all seen that? What? I have. I, I can't get past the first episode. I did audience work on a couple um, of shows. the rail show. You know what? It's the first see episode. that's to me. It's it's what executive produced by Carmichael. It's funny. Yeah. And so, like to me, when I realized that, I was just like, uh, you got turned off. Not turned off, but it was like, he why isn't this? Out. Why isn't this show more funny to me? And then it was just like, I I think. So I'll tell you what it is about Carmichael that I didn't like. I They did a little bit of this in, in the rail. Carmichael was trying to attack social issues in his show yeah. and be funny with it at the same time. And it was just like, to me, it came off very corny the way he was attacking these yeah. social issues. I, I, I like I, I liked the, the fact that he was like, he, he you got to watch the episode that he did on Bill Cosby. Bill uh, Cosby is his favorite comedian. Yeah. So he did a... Uh, Carmichael, oh, okay. he loved Bill Cosby. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Then. But he did a, He he did a whole controversy about you know what I'm saying. How you feel? Yeah, like but it was like he was breaking it down. Like he was going to see Bill Cosby, but his his his, his girlfriend was like, hey. like he used her like her point of view was from a woman's point of view. Like why would you want to see Bill Cosby? He was like, man, the man's funny. I don't have nothing to do with what he does. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, kind of like, so it was like his point of view, and then her point of view was that's dope, to, man. I yeah. think he dope, dog. And then David Allen Greer, I, I like the show. I used to, man, I used to, I used to, yeah. I used to. It's called Us. What are you yeah. talking about? 
the movie that's hey, that, coming hey, out. That movie looked kind of scary. Yeah, no, it, it do look scary. Listen, that tra- <laughs> the trailer was like, yeah, I was like ooh, I want to see it. What did it, yeah. it came? It came on during the um, something. The Warriors and Laker game. Yeah, yeah. it nah. had everybody glued nah, in. The though. They, they had the high guy. I got five on the beat. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Like, hey. In the car. I was like, who is that? Uh, I, was like, uh, I was like, they playing. I got five. And it got, on the, it. It got the dude from. Uh, from, uh, Black Panther in there. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. I have yeah. all them, but hey. um, uh, Winston Duke. But it just looks a little creepy. I don't know if I'm gonna see I think it. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna go see it. That just ain't cause, scary. Like, like that. Ain't, Key and I like Smithful, but I don't. It looks scary. I don't though. like scary. No, it look, like, the trailer. Bro, it looks like that Freddy. It had. Bro, it look like you gonna look in the mirror when you get home and be like, yeah, bro, it look kind of scary though. <laughs> hey, hey, it hey, had you Trump know what? That's gonna spooked. be. A, that's gonna be on that. It's um, not like it wasn't like Get Out. <laughs> no, Get Out wasn't scary. That's gonna be on. What's that dude? You're not supposed to say in the mirror. Oh, Candyman. That's that Candyman. I still won't do that. Yeah, like, like, man, like, yeah, if we like, would have watched those movies hey, would, you now, still, would you do that? I still wouldn't. Nah, do that. I'm cool. Because it's something about that. Oh, my God. Nah. People, people hey, used to tell me elementary, if you say Hell Mary, like people got hey, sucked know, in the toilet and all that. Hey, you, know the, you know the dude that played Candyman played Show Enough? For real? Yeah, same two, same people. Candyman and Show Enough, the Candy, same person. Candyman and Show Enough is the same people. Oh, Wait know, a minute. Man. I'm going to have to Google No, that. he's not. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm looking at, let me see. Let me go to the book. Candyman. Let me see. I, I know I won't be saying his name though. I don't know. Three about times. That I don't play with stuff like that. Yeah. My mama said, "Do not entertain devils." Yeah, yeah I don't do that, I man. I don't be doing that whole. Okay, his name is Tony Todd. The dude that played Shona. Yes. Oh, wait, no, the dude that played Candyman. And Shona was in what movie is that? That's the Last right. Dragon. The Last Dragon. Yeah, I watched that on Netflix the other day. <laughs> yeah, me and Ronte used to love that movie. I'm not seeing the last yeah, dragon in his. Dog. That and Jamie, I should like that. You made that up, dude. Candyman and Show Enough is not the same Candyman person. Candyman and Show Enough is the same people. Let me dog. look up the last dragon cast because he's. I don't think so. You could just Google Show Enough. After that, play Show Enough on Last Dragon. Cast. Show Enough. His name was Julius Gary. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you just spread rumors, bro. I'm like, y'all didn't look like the same person. It, I can see why he says that nah, looking at but, him. But he's though. tried to say with so much confidence, like, okay. okay. No, his name is Julius Gary. Okay, if you don't want to believe me. <laughs> Hold on. I, I'm yeah, looking I'm at it right here. Oh, the dog. Who played Candyman? Tony, what did I just say? Not the Tony. Same. Not the same person, bro. You don't go over here and mess with the computer now. Don't stop paying. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. That, Tony yeah. Todd. Somebody oh, told you that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Not somebody go. told you that. But I'm here. I don't know. I might. It's like when the movie. You know, Eddie Murphy plays like Sexual Chocolate, right? Eddie Murphy's all them people. All them people. I all them people. When I was a kid. I was like, for real? Yeah, I, didn't know, I didn't know he was the dude. In the, I was like, uh, he was even the white Jewish dude. They yeah, was like, that yes. threw me off. Yeah. That threw me off. The white like, Jewish dude? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I had to. He just like a few years ago didn't even get that joke. Oh, yeah, I did it. Yeah, he didn't get it. I, I had to break it like down to him, and I was just like, you really don't get it? I was like, I don't get why people laugh. <laughs> He's like, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that movie's got to probably be one of the funniest movies. Coming to, you like Coming to America? I'd be so, like, I you're just so... You think that he wouldn't like it? Why would he not like Why it? Why would I not like Coming just, to America? Just, you don't like Cosby Show. No? Like, I don't know. Bro, Cosby Show and Coming to America are not on the same page. Black I'm just people saying. Like True. Not all black people like come, uh, Cosby Show. You're like the first black person I heard say. Are you serious? I am yeah. so serious. I never heard anybody say I've they t- like never heard Cosby nobody show. say they did not like the Cosby Show. I heard people be like, man, the Cosby Show, that's why I wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. Oh, that's last time we had some good quality TV. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I concur with that. Like too. Good Time, Jeff, like all the other shows is about black people. We 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 on the rise. We gonna make it. <laughs> we on up and Mama, up. Mama, did you get them food stamps? <laughs> <laughs> like like the Cosby Show to me is a show that made me not want to go to school. Wow. Because I was like, I don't want to be that. If like going to school and getting educated, becoming a doctor means living that life, like a happy life. Nigga, it's not you, even a happy life. life living it's a now, right? Life. right. The, 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 life, the life you living now, yeah. right? Doctor, I traveling at small, traveling to DR for work. Uh-huh. Man, first Flying of all, back and forth. I'm so mind 
the life, life, life that he lived, he's trying I to run away from it. This dude flies. Because he said they're too happy. Look, he flies to work every week. It, no, it's not that they're too happy. It's that they were too assimilated to white culture. Like they was like them. They was they like them debutante white Negro blacks. On the show. No, because they were like them debutante you're Negro saying, blacks. You saying like that? That they need to do like a crackhead in the family or something to be like, or somebody. Everybody was too. Not a. <laughs> I'm just saying like something to throw it off. Like, hey, now these black people can't be all. No, happy. Like, I, like I just yeah. I said it earlier. Like they were like African American, like the Jesse Jackson faction. The like, like we are assimilated to white culture, even though we are pro black. And 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 which means that there was no room and space for like niggas. And I'm like, I'm a nigga. I'm not a. I'm not that. I but you, you are that. If you would have wanted to show you, they would have accepted you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they would show you. Would you? Be, would you have to be on the good times? You be on that. that. Put me on the Cosby. I'm show, on the Cosby show. I'm on, Cosby I'm, I'm, show. I'm, I'm on different on world. What about Family Matters? I think I what about there. Family Matters? Yeah, I don't want to be on that. You want to be on Family Matters? Right. Mm-mm. Then, will they just get rid of kids without even yeah. mentioning them? I feel like if I was on the Cosby show, they make me <laughs> hey, pull they up did. my pants. They, that's what I'm saying. They got rid of the little nah, boy. You be a thug. They, they make me pull they, up they my pants. Denise. They be like, you can't say nigga no more. They I'll never. Like, no, Girl. Denise never. They never got rid of Denise. What I'm saying is on Family Matters. They got rid of the She went upstairs and never came oh, yeah. back down. Like never. Never came back. Oh no, the daughter. Yeah, the she daughter. Like, going upstairs. Yeah. And then she turned into like a a porn star. Wasn't yeah. she a porn star? She, or she just went down the wrong. Path or would you like rather that. them just have a whole other complexion, like do like Fresh Prince, and just be like a whole? <laughs> you know who else did that too? Um, my wife and kids. Yeah, my wife, wife and kids, kids yeah. with the daughter. Yeah, like, you look different. You look different. <laughs> hey, that show was funny too. Did you? Yes. Hey, that, that was show, funny. That show was weird. That show was, show was heck of funny. Damon Wayans. That's Damon Wayans, yeah. right? It's funny. I wonder why, man, we was watching nine. He had nine watching some old episodes of A Living Color. Mm. And we was like, oh my gosh. there is no way they could do any of these skits they right now. Had, none of them. Like, yeah, none of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I was rolling. They that was so they, they, funny. They, you knew they wouldn't be able to do men on film. Nah. Like, no. no, men and, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the way, the way they, the way they was at Kevin Hart. Two part. snaps and a... <laughs> Hey, they got a uh, hated it. Hated it. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be able to do anything nah. that now. And how you feel about that with comedy? Like, I had to go from there to where you can't say anything. Yeah, because yeah, like, I seen when that? you posted that one clip from you, was it on the Laugh Factory? I don't know. But you, but before you started the joke, you said, I'm not trying to offend nobody. And then you went into your joke to talk about white people. And somebody yeah. said in one of the comments. Yeah, they I mean, always be. Man, they, they be like, why do you, why do why you gotta say you're not why you gotta put up the disclaimer before you tell your joke i just i don't know this is like i don't i just did it like i don't want to offend you know why i don't know i just do it like that you say i don't want to offend it's kind of funny offend you i think it's kind of funny because it's like i don't want to and then i'll talk about it i don't want to offend you you know what i mean but basically i'm just letting you (laughs) know i'm about to offend you i don't want to say i don't because you say because i say i don't like when white people so they like "Uh." Yeah. Then it's like, huh? and they like, I don't like when y'all fill up. up. Yeah, That's it's so like a, crazy though. Yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just a setup. Like, how did it happen where the world became that? so sensitive? Sensitive. Oh, man, uh, oh my god. Because I don't. I was watching the Living Color and I was like, oh my god. You can't say nothing, bro. You can't say nothing. You can't say like. Man, and you can't say nothing about gay people. They you it. can't say nothing about gay people. Yeah, they own it. They they punking people like say something. Dare you? Dare you say something? Say faggot. Say it. Yeah, yeah, you can. They know all. They know all the the little hey, they, maneuvers. And then, and, well, you could say like midget. Midget ain't gonna say. No, no you nah, can't. Can. They don't like that. I mean, you can't. But nobody gonna get at you like nah, like, nah, nah, not like that. Like the gay community, yeah. they not gonna get at you like the gay community. No, you, nah. gotta, you gotta say the little, little people community people. ain't ain't that strong. Yeah, they yeah. getting there. Gays and no, dudes. they not. They not there. But they got the world to back them up. Like, why would you call them a midget? They do. They do that. Yeah, no, but, gay, but gays and Jews, they run. They run Hollywood. They do. Yeah, yeah, gays and Jews. Gays and what? The gays and Jews. What about them? run Hollywood? Mm. I feel like even LeBron getting in trouble for for saying for posting the song from Twenty One Savage, where he said, "Oh, he, they had to, he apologized for that." He had apologized for that. Everybody got to apologize he posted, for everything. And then Twenty One Savage apologized for saying that we getting Jewish money, and it was just like, 
you know, it's like wasn't that like a compliment? Ain't that a compliment? But the but some Jewish dude was like, go to a Jewish person and say like I'm getting Jewish money and see if they see it as a compliment or if they get offended by it. Man, you, you can't, can't compliment nothing, bro. Now, can't. Like even even in the comments, the the comments of the uh, the laugh factory. My mom was like, don't look at the comments, but I was looking anyways. I'd be looking at it, seeing what people were saying. But, but it was white people were like it was somebody that was like, why are you guys on him? He's, he's like he's like why people? would you get mad about a compliment about filling up. Like y'all do fill up. Why you ever that? Like we just. And then one dude was like, "I just don't like you know, I'm I don't fill up all the time." And I'm like, "Y'all fill up." Oh you know my gosh, like, guys, it was a joke. Some black people were like, oh, and "That's the one I got." Why is he making it seem like we're you know what I'm saying? I'm like, we don't. I wasn't. I wasn't. But when I did the joke, I wasn't doing it. Black people. I'm doing what I do. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I've been in the gap. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but to me, I, like, let me get two fifty on like, five. Right, this, 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 this what I do after when I'm at the gas station. To me, when you live your life like that, where you constantly being offended or you constantly finding offense in these things mm-hmm. it's like man like you must live a stressful life because it's gonna happen all around you man like you got to be able to just find the humor in this stuff and not just find the offense in it all like i, I don't be trying to be i mean i know people be saying sometimes offensive stuff to me in my profession i'd be like i don't even have time to think about how that was offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I just know like, it was. Right. Like, okay. I just know it was. No and I know, about that it was. I know who you are now, but like, right. I don't even have the energy to get mad at you right now. Right. Just, thank you very much for showing me your true colors and I'm going to keep it pushing. I can dig it. It's crazy, but yeah, you can never, it can never reboot man, that it's show. It's crazy, bro. Like, I just be like, man, this is the whole Kevin Hart thing. Like, oh, the Oscars? He apologized. In the tweet, he I, I I feel him though. He was like, "I'm not gonna apologize for something right. I did ten years ago." Right. He years said ago? that, but then he apologized again. I mean, he did, but in he was bed. like, he "But did? when he gave his whole, like, I guess he felt like he, he. I guess his stance was like, "I'm not doing the Oscars." Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, but it's just so unfortunate. I'm gonna apologize, and I'm still not gonna do the Oscars. Right. But it's just so unfortunate that something that happened ten plus years ago. Can hey, still tw- affect you today. Hey, Twitter. Hey, they got a. Uh, they, they have an app where you can go pull up they, they, everything, uh, don't they? Um, Derek, um, uh, his um, the comedians that he cool with in the um in the group chat, they all went back on each other's Twitters and was pull, pulling up stuff like stuff that you like. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff. It was pulling up stuff that you were saying. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? You might before have said you, something about gays. Hey, like, I man. feel like the minute you you make seven figures, you need to just go back. Can you can get you rid of all back? that stuff? Yeah. You, you need to just go back. You and can delete. go back and delete it because I, I, I swear people are just waiting for you to have like for G, like people are just waiting for to see G on Comedy Central, and then they're gonna oh go to us. They're gonna see scroll back through. Yeah, yeah but with stuff that happens, Twitter? clean it out. Yeah. But stuff that happened so long ago, like people Don't grow, matter. people evolve. Like let people live and. Like broke G might tweet something, you know what I'm saying? Like I was broke, you know. I was like trick Trump, are you know what I'm saying? Or like you know what I mean? Like I'm. Broke. But then when you get some money, up, man, it's just but one then, less thing you gotta deal with. But then like like the one two, like the, the, the uh, you got any maggots in your Twitter? You seen? Clean no, it. you seen the one where the dude uh, where the dude proposed to his girlfriend, black dude football mm-hmm. player proposed to his girlfriend, and then they went back and found out she had a tweet or something like that. They got on her because she said she put a tweet like, I like black dick or something like that. Hmm. Or something. And they were going back. <laughs> it's just crazy. And it was like, country, like I was like, man, like we can't. Like, no, nah, man. That's why I say people are self-righteous, man. Like, like you, everybody got prejudices or things that they've done inappropriate. Right. I feel like when you jump on somebody else and persecute somebody else, you just waiting for the persecution to come back on you. Okay. That's why I'd be like, you know, what you do in your life, you doing your life. Yeah. But I ain't I'm not trying to mess up nobody's money. Yeah. But they are. Is that you think that's their goal? Or do you think that they're just I think for sure it's their goal because we live in the type of environment where all it takes is an allegation and you mess with somebody's money. If yeah. somebody was to call my job today and be like, You gentleman said something offensive. Mm-hmm. Bro, my boss will call me up tomorrow and be like, "Hey, man, like, like we gonna have to put you on leave of absence until we do an investigation." Really? Yeah, because you know what I mean. Like, what what the university wouldn't want is for like it to become big and it'd be like, "Oh, well, y'all didn't put him on 
protesting he, outside. Right, and, like y'all didn't discipline him, and then now all of a sudden it's a bigger scandal. So I just feel like don't be messing with people's money. Like to pull that up about Kevin Hart, like you messed with his money. Who yeah. got time like that? Cause they that was way back in two thousand. Man, that was like ten. Would he say something like, "I wouldn't let my son"? Yeah, he my did. son was a fag. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I read on there. I feel the same way. It was something like that. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I just, I just, I don't like the fact that they just be having people like you can't like you got to be on eggshells like you can't. Hey, G. You blow up, man. You gonna give me a car like Kevin Hart did with his boys? Yeah, I'm gonna get you your, uh, get you that Pontiac, your oh, first man. car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can give you a few more options. Hey, the, the I'll pon- take that, that Pontiac Pre. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take Speaking that. of which, was, that was, you, dope. was you riding around in, in, in his mama car with him when he was 12, 13? Riding with him? Yeah. What car? Which one? You talking about when we were driving? We were like twelve. Oh yeah, he was driving. We was driving the uh, the white. Uh, the, um, this dude was driving like thirteen. He had an Astro yeah, we van. Was young. We was like fourteen. We both had cars. 14, he had a van. We had a van. Yeah, well, I was like fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> have a little life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom was tripping. She was letting us drive rental cars when he had license. Yeah, <laughs> me and him, me and him <laughs> in Mexico. I had a different. I had a different. Remember, I had rentals. I had got the rentals coming in the Vallejo. Dude, me and him, tenth grade. By ourselves, no L's driving from Vallejo to San Diego by ourselves. Yeah, we was going to Tijuana. Wait, with no adults in the car? No adults. Mm. We we would just walk. We would just park and just walk over the border. Like who approved that? My mom went. She don't even. I don't even know. She really. My dad wouldn't even. They wouldn't even <laughs> so I was like, they be like, they could, they I okay. Think they, I think they was kind of like. It's a straight shot. They was kind of sad <laughs> that they we had to move to San Diego. <laughs> hey, I think that they felt bad that because I, I didn't want to move to San Diego, so they were just kind of like, just, me like, you can hey, drive, just have fun, like. So you know what I mean? They was like, hey, whatever you got to do to get used to San Diego. Like, so, you know what I mean? Call like, me, be man, slide through, man. It's there ain't no way I'm letting Denine drive a car right now. Man, we is a different time. Yeah. Very different time. Hey, because that's an eight hour drive from Vallejo to San Diego. Yes. Yeah, we was driving. For, for 15 year olds. Yeah. Yes. He was bobbing. Smashing. Smashing. Like, yeah. Remember Brian was driving? And he yeah. almost ran in the back. He just, oh. oh and he, he, he crashed in front of my mom. He just, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, did she catch it? Was like, He's like, sorry. He's outside. He's like, uh, I just, you know, and I was like, dang, B. That's what you do, huh? That's what you just be cussing. You you guys have so many stories between the two of you guys. You guys ever thought about, like, putting them in a book? I thought about, you know what? I be thinking about my life be kind of normal. And the things I've been through with until my, you start telling your stories, until I start telling my stories, and people be <laughs> interested. I'll be like, "Yeah, I didn't do that." Like, right? Dang, I ain't used to do stuff like that. I think we can make like what? Yeah, we could. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I honestly think we can make wood. Baby, think about it. we got a comedian, a preacher. A so podcast. you be Mary and Tiff like that? Be the another whole, comedian. Another comedian. Got two comedians in the same. Two crew. comedians, a lawyer, a preacher, and a podcaster. <laughs> yeah. All under the same umbrella. I think that'd be a dope little movie. My mom was tripping off that. She said, all my kids do, like, speak, like, in front of, like, people. And she was like, I don't, I, and yeah, she, I like, she said, like, that's so far from her. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, I'm a comedian, Dame a preacher, Lulu's, <laughs> Lulu's, a, uh, Lulu was an actor at one point, and Tori's, what, cheerleader. dancing, cheerleader. Yeah. Professional cheerleader. All you guys are on Front Street. Right around yeah. the year. Yeah, she was, yeah, right around the year, that one year. 2014. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was pregnant with Bella. That's when we went to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, very successful. Man, I just want to say, G, I appreciate you, dog, sliding through. Yeah, bro, taking this opportunity. (sighs) He said I was gonna get some gas money or something for coming. (laughs) 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 I got you, man. We can get something to eat too, man. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm starving. We gonna too. go get something to eat? Hell yeah. yeah. You know what I want, bro? Only thing open right now is PJ's. I took, I, this chick, I was Let's go. To, I went to Pizza Rock. I've never been, you bro. You never? Oh, Pizza Rock. Nigga, you, you never, never been? been? Every time y'all go, I always gotta do something and I leave. And you I went. sure you ain't never been with us? Nah, I never been. Are they closed yeah, right Yeah, Pizza now? Rock is no, nice. No, they're... I went to Pizza Rock. 
after I did a show like two weeks they ago. Open, huh? I'm about to I went see to Peace of Rock. Wednesday, I did honey. a comedy show, and then afterwards, <laughs> I went to Peace of Rock. That's yeah, Peace of Rock. BJ's a Peace of Rock, man. We hitting Peace, one of them. Peace of Rock is off the chain, bro. Man, any, 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 any last things you want to tell people about where to follow you, man? Whatever. Look man. out for might, the Kevin Hart of the man. City. You might, you might get two followers for this, though. Man, look out for me. I'm about to be on Kevin Hart, Heart of the City, or Comedy Central, represent for the Bay. Um, it's supposed to be airing in February. I'll let y'all know. Um, and y'all can follow me on Instagram, G King Comic, on Twitter, G King Comic on Instagram and Facebook. They made me switch some things up because I don't know, bro. They made me like, because uh, I had G King or something uh-huh. like that, comedian G King, and they wanted my Facebook wanted to be your real name so people yeah. can connect with you. So I, for hell long, they was like, hey, you're gonna have to do this, and I'm like, whatever. And I just kept putting it off, and then they like blocked me off. I couldn't sign in. And I had to send them my ID. Damn. I had to send them my ID to prove that who I was. So they went and I had to use my real name. So that's why everybody was like, Your name Giovanni King? <laughs> they like, that's what the G stand for. Everybody like, why you don't use Giovanni King? I get that all the time. When for they real. find out my real name, they're like, bruh, your name Giovanni, bro. And I was just be like, Yeah. yeah Wait, your real last name is King? Yeah, my Can I just name. tell you that I just never thought about that? <laughs> Nah, you got. You probably thought it was something different. Just like King Batch and King Karan. I just King. never <laughs> thought about that. You thought it was just G King, like a rap. Yes, like a, I just like never. A, like that was my like my rap name. Yes. <laughs> For real. I am so serious. That's, you probably think he got two last names. Oh yeah. That's what? why. Yeah, Giovanni J Kino, and then Giovanni King. Your last name is Gio Kino too? Yeah, when yeah, I that's when why I, I said that's why I thought you was when surprised. I was like when Dame when my mom married Dame dad they changed my last name so I had two last names. It's hyphen. It's hyphen, but I go. Did not know. Like, that. High that's school, why I thought you was acting surprised. That's why. No, I, was like, I didn't realize like, like, through, that either. Like through high school and everything, it was Giovanni J. Kino, and then when I got older, I was like, I'm, I'm Hey, you know what's crazy? I've been knowing him my whole life, and I didn't find out till I was like a teenager. I was like. I used to do I used to do that joke <laughs> on stage about how I met my dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I was I gotta bring that back on stage, but I do I used to do a whole bit about my dad. Like I'm like, I'll tell you about like, that joke. I'm like all this time. I was there been, when he met his first this nigga been in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> how old you were like hecka old. Man, yeah, I'm like he just chilling, fixing on cars. Nigga, what do you mean? I'm serious the whole time. The whole time, nigga in Berkeley chilling. Fix it, mechanic. Fix you the cars. You guys were like, oh, we was like, I was like, like 17, 16, 17. Is that you never inquired. So I was before? like, I was like 10th, 11th. Hey, I just, look never, how it happened real I just quick, never thought about it because hey, we, dropped, never, we, we, in, we in Berkeley, we in Berkeley, right? His mama like, they go to your daddy's shop. We was like, what? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> just like random, <laughs> random nigga. Like, they go to your daddy's shop. We was like, who daddy? Like, what are you talking about? G daddy. I'm like, pull over. Pull over. Y'all rolled up in the shop. <laughs> he was like, pull over. Uh, hey, look. Like, hey. G looked just like his dad. Hey, can I tell that story, G? Just dark yeah, skin. Look, <laughs> he's like, pull over. I'm like, I want to see this nigga daddy. I'm like, you for real? She's like, yeah, that's his dad. I'm like, his dad right there. And you had never met him at that never time. Never met but him what, in what, his what, life. The weird thing about it is I would always go to uh, meet my, I was going to see my granddad, my grandma, but never met my and dad. And they live around the corner from the shop. Wait. You had a relationship with them before had, you had a relationship with him? Yeah, when I was younger. Because my granddad, because I guess my dad was like denying me. Or like, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They ain't my son or uh, right. whatever. And my granddad was like, you I, my I believe grand- my mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I believe my mom. So he was like, I still want him. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he just, when you, he never like rolled up on you? Nah, he never. While I you're never, visiting his nah, parents? I used to always think that when I was younger, too. That like, is a like, trip. I didn't know so that So I would either. see pictures of my dad, but right. I never seen him. I never, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was weird, bro. So wow. y'all in Berkeley. Yeah, we in Berkeley. And Actually, like, Oakland. Uh, yeah, so we're we driving down San Pablo. His shop is in. It's like Oakland. It's like North Oakland, like borderline. Wow. Yeah, so she like, they go to shop right there. I'm like, hell no. So we pull over. I'm like, hey, what's his dad name? She give me his dad name. I'm like, all right. So she's like, when you go in there, you're going to see him. You're going to know who he is. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, but you ain't seen him in like 20 years, like 17, 20. She's like, guarantee you, when you go in there, you're going to know exactly who his name. You're going to know who he is. But his name is blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, pull over. And G's like, man, trick that, man. Let's go, man. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting too real. Yeah. Like, and I ain't trying to say him. I was like, Damn. And G was like, I was like, hey, so look, I'm with Dane. 
this one dang was dang. Like, I'm like, dang, come with me. He's like, all right. And I was like, this the plan. We're going to go in there, see his dad, see who he is. And we're going to go back in the car. We ain't going to say nothing. G going to want to know. <laughs> I was like, he going to want to know. He was like, all right. We walk in there. I'm like, God, dog, that's his dad right there. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we walked in, we both said, that's his dad right there. Like, this is crazy. Like, it need to be filmed. I was like, it's crazy. So we walk in. He like, hey, can I, how can I help you? I'm like, yeah, I, I need a car fix. He like, all right. So what's wrong with him? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he was like, what you know? I'm like, I don't know, man. I know <laughs> son is. I was like, I did get it fixed. He like, all right, look, man. So you don't know what's going on. Just bring it in, and we uh, check it out. We bring it in. I'm like, all right, cool. So we get him back in the car. I'm like, dang, don't say nothing. <laughs> like, all right. We get in the car. G like, what do you say? Nothing. Like, what do you look like? I'm like, hey, man. Just, just, hey. And I'm like, and your mom, his mom, like, you ready to go? He's like, yeah. And then we pull off. G's like, man, trick that. Let me go up in there. <laughs> I'm going there and see what this nigga look like. And I was like, oh, he's saying nigga. My mom was like, get real. <laughs> no, he's 17. You don't say nigga in front of my mom. <laughs> so look, we pull up to the joint, right? This time I'm going in with G because I want to see how this going to play out. I'm like, right. nigga, this movie stuff to me. So we walk in there, right? I'm like, what are you going to say? As soon as he walk in, G made eye contact. We're like, oh, there you go right there. G walked up to him like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they look, and he looked at him blood and instantly I knew he knew who G was. And G looked at him, he's like, know who I am? <laughs> he was like, yeah. He was like, I'm your son. He was like, oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, how you doing? He was like, I'm doing fine. He was like, uh, where's your mom? She outside. I was like, dang, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was weird. Like, it was like, he was like, ah, oh, man. You doing good in school? It became that typical, like, yeah. dead beat type dad speech. Like, you, you doing play, good in school? Play basketball? Play any parts? <laughs> <laughs> looking pretty good, looking just like me. Like, hey, yeah. The thing about it is, I was just like, what were you doing all this time? You <laughs> asked him that? Yeah, I was like, bro, like, you was just up the street, you was just, <laughs> just <laughs> like, what were you doing, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, just, <laughs> you know what's crazy, blood? Like, for you to go through that experience, like, you ain't never had no daddy issues, dog. Because he had the dad. Yeah, because I had that. I had Lou. Like, 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 I never, like, tri- I always tripped off that, but tripped off like how you never like uncle lou yeah. like a real pops to you yeah, where you pops, pops. like that feel the whole that. that's a yeah. dope daddy to fill a whole void when you ain't when you even meet the dad you still ain't mad like you like yeah, <laughs> right. all right we can be cool you deal with yeah, your dad today huh you be dealing with your pops today or nah yeah i, I you know what i'm saying we cool like he'll call me like you know what i'm saying he'll be calling me a lot lately though hey son just thinking about you <laughs> now it's to the point it's like bro i be like man, you know what I'm saying it's like bro I'm growing up like I mean he cool though like I don't be like holding no grudges like we cool now like right. I don't be man for the so relationship for, for how you got did for me just me speaking for how you got did it just shows like you came from a, a, a tight knit real family bond to not hold a grudge with him and still have a relationship with him yeah. communicate with him when you come down here you visit him like yeah it's dope. Like he got more than what somebody would give him right. being in your situation yeah. for him being not there I mean, for the past eighteen. But he, years. but I, but he, he kind of helped me out more. Like, well, I probably need him now more, like financial. Like you know what I'm saying? He shoot me some money or what? You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like he ain't he, got no choice. Yeah, but he making. You know what I'm saying? It's like I right. probably need him now more. Like, let me get three three hundred dollars. He took, he took seven, the first seventeen years off. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make it up on the back end. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, man, we went for a left on the outro, but yeah, that's that, was, man. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you coming to the podcast, that's taking good, time bro. out, man. I know you had a busy day. Yeah, had them socks clean. Oh, uh, man, you know, I got these for Christmas. You know, I'm on my I sock like game and my draws, man. You know, yeah. talk about this later. Okay. But uh, <laughs> that's say, it, you man. Twinkling it's, your toes. Like uh, <laughs> he always twinkling his toes. Twinkling, twinkling I'm about to say, you know, he like discussing his draws yeah. game with other. Other people, so yeah, but that's it, man. So it's out, man. G King, two dudes, and a chick. And G, we real out, quick, man. give us your uh IG 
Where pe- where can people find you at? Oh, uh, G King Comic, uh, G K I N G C O M I C, and y'all can add me on Facebook, um, comedian Giovanni King, and Twitter G King Comic, Snapchat G King Comic. You be tweeting okay. a lot. Man, I do what I don't. I be forgetting. I'm like, let me tweet. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's just too too much, man. Like I, I try to like, I be trying, but Twitter be popping though. Like people, you know yeah, what I'm people. Yeah. If you got heck of followers, it's cool. But I just don't like the. It's no, if it's no interaction, you just tweet unless somebody say something. You know what I mean? Like it's cool if you got people responding, but if you just tweeting, you feel like right. you're just tweeting to yourself. Right. Or on Twitter. I never got with the Twitter I movement. I, mean, put me I like it. I mean, it was cool at one point, like eight years ago. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like businesses still tweet. Do like, they? Like that's a big corporate tool. Yeah, like Twitter. Like Twitter. Like, like the celebrities. Like if they, you know what I'm saying? If you got following, it's cool. Yeah. But I just Instagram is just you know because I mean, Twitter. It's, well, actually, you could do everything you do on Instagram. Yeah. You can go live. You could do videos. I, uh, Facebook bought out Twitter. No. It didn't. Still separate. <laughs> All right. All right. I said, man, right. two dudes and a chicken. We out. Peace. Right. Shout out. Peace.